1059. The following program is a paid commercial presentation. The comments, views, and opinions expressed do not necessarily reflect the views of the staff, management, or advertisers of Delaware 1059. Right in front of your computer. <laughs> good morning, good morning, good morning. Jim Weller here. It's a crazy morning already, right? It is, it is. I agree. Well, good morning, everybody. You're listening to Jim Weller and my co-host, executive producer, and the man I couldn't do without, Colin Walls. Brooks Ritter is on vacation. Good morning, Colin. Good morning, Jim. What size shoe do you wear? I wear about a 12. Okay, I was going to say you got some... Big shoes to fill. Brooks, I don't know what size he wears. Yeah, he wears at least that. Does he really? As big as yeah. <laughs> He's got to. All There's right. no way he can stand up on a size 9. <laughs> <laughs> he would tip over. He would. It's a good thing he's sleeping. He doesn't get up too early uh, <laughs> when he's on vacation. So anyway, good morning. We're here. We're actually live inside Eagle's Nest Church. We're in the lobby, and the place is full of everything from swimming pools to candy to a thing to put stripes on the ground. Stripes, is that right? Lines, stripes, it paints Where do you line. buy these stripes? I don't know. You, you, just you buy the, the stripe ground. and put it in that machine, and then you just roll it along, and it lays it on the ground. Okay. But I see that. I see thousands of bottles of water, all these bags, just a lot of stuff. T-shirts. So today is the day that it's all going to happen, um, even whatever these flip-flop things are. That is a flip-flop wreath, Jim. Oh, you need it? one of those. A flip-flop wreath? It's a wreath oh, that you I would see. put on a door or on a wall, but it's made out of flip-flops. No kidding. Oh, I even got a clipboard. Oh, it's got, is this water? The green area is all water? Anyway, um, Amy Brown is here. She's handed me a clipboard. Well, I haven't had a clipboard in years, to be honest with you. <laughs> Anyway, so, look, she just broke the microphone. It only goes one way, but now it won't even work. The other way. Yeah. Put them on the yeah. other. There you go. Oh, that'll mess her up. If you put oh, the no. microphone. Maybe the and, other and way. you got to undo the wire. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, folks, I can't narrate what's happened. We couldn't have planned this. This is perfect. But Amy Brown has showed up. And for those watching online, you got it all <laughs> at WellerDoesDelmarva.com. She's come in. She's took over with her Tennessee Titans mug. Uh, and uh, Tennessee Vols. What's that mean? It's got a T on it. Volunteers. Volunteers. It's a college team. It's a big difference. Oh, for real? Yeah. Like if you, Why? If you need to visit Tennessee, you'll see. Everybody I've been to Tennessee. Orange. Everybody wore orange. Did they not wear everyone more orange? I have no idea. <sighs> I mean, there were oranges in the restaurant. <laughs> but I don't know if everybody was wearing oranges. We're a, we're a big college football state. so. Did you go to college? I did go to college. But on I didn't purpose? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I paid my bills on purpose. Really? Yeah, because they, yeah. Well, because they kept coming? <laughs> Even though you moved, you what couldn't you? get away from them? Is that what you're saying? I'm still paying for college. Wow. Yeah. Are you still using any of what you're paying for, or is it all done? I suspect I am. I've still got the little... Um, what? Diploma. The diploma. That's the word. <laughs> okay. The little diploma. The one word they didn't teach you See in college. <laughs> right. I still got my yeah. diploma hanging on the wall. So that's okay. important, right? Well, we noticed how efficiently you put them headphones on. <laughs> so <laughs> they, had, they didn't teach me. Jim, that. it's early. Give her a break. Come on. <laughs> Give her a break. Yeah. It's early. She what usually doesn't get up till 11 or noon. 7 o'clock, 11 yeah. or noon. <laughs> 11 would be an early day for her. Noon would be normal, right? I don't know. Okay. Now Leslie Reese is going to try to put some headphones on. With. Okay. Anyway, folks, you're listening and watching WellerDoesDelmarva.com. Um, we're here. We're inside the church at Eagle's Nest. Um, this is a closed-door session, I guess you would say, but we're having a live show. Is that right? Is that the kind of meetings you have around here, closed-door sessions? <laughs> I don't know that we usually have closed-door sessions, okay. but, we, but we do keep the doors closed a lot to keep the flies from coming in. The flies, and where do they come from, the beach or the campground? Um, the chicken house next <laughs> oh, door. Oh, okay. I thought that's where the buzzards came from. <laughs> that, too. The flies. Okay. Anyway... We're having a good time here, and this is a live radio show for those that don't know it, and you can watch it for real, and if you're saying, I've got to watch this, it's not a pay-per-view event. You can watch it now, or you can watch it later at WellerDoesDelmarva.com. We do accept pay. 
We do. If you want to pay. Have you got it set up where people can pay? Sure, yeah. Just stop by and <laughs> slide a 20 under the door. <laughs> <laughs> Attached to the $100 bill, you meant to slide under the door, right? right? yeah. Okay. So anyway, um, but we're here. We're doing the radio show here. Today is the big day. It's Eagle Feast, Eagle Fest. Which is it? <laughs> Eagle, Eagle Fest. Feast. But, Eagle you know, there Fest. is a feast part. There's the free food. So oh, I guess yeah. sort of that's accurate, too. Yeah. And um, so what it. are you giving away? 2,500 hot dogs? 2,500 hot dogs. Hot dog meals, not just hot dogs. Oh, but you okay. Get a hot you dog. The roll. You you do get the roll. We'll okay. let you do is that. It, is it gluten free? It is not gluten free. Okay. So if you have a gluten is allergy, is it a yeast roll? Yes. Mm. Okay. <laughs> so you got flour and sugar in it. I'm a diabetic now. <laughs> it does have flour and sugar. Okay. Well, that's good. So then. maybe remove the the bun. You see that box can, of donuts? We can, the tell, <laughs> we can tell how diabetic you are, Jim, or how diabetic you think you are with that box of donuts. <laughs> Well, I didn't eat them all yet. <laughs> it wasn't a long enough ride from Lewis to here. Anyway, um, so Eagle Feast Fest is today. Is that right? It is today. It okay. begins at 3. Okay. And um, I saw the Eagles lining up on the roof of the building. They're as ready. I came in. Synchronized okay. flight. Okay. May or may not occur. So anyway, out there, I see you've cut the grass. We, I, yes, I did it. No, uh -huh. we have wonderful guys. You did. No, we have wonderful guys. Who okay, do that. That's why it's so nice and neat. <laughs> it's very nice and neat. If you'd have done it, you would have cut it and shaped it like flowers or something. <laughs> I would have. Okay. I, yeah, I really would have. All right. Well, you're doing a good job. Now, what other educational things do you want to express to us here? Well, um, we started <clears throat> three. Started three. And we got the 2,500 um, free meals. But, you know, all day long. If, I mean, if you're like 2,501 and you don't get a free hot dog, then... I, Will they There's, get a free smile after that? They get free smiles. They get free rides. We've got heavy. Did you see all the carnival rides? Okay, out there so on no that matter how grass? many people come, no matter how many people come, yes, it's free to get in. Unlim yeah, unlimited rides. Okay, to everybody, we've got um, pony rides going on over here, right here, right out this window, right. Um, we're gonna have bounces. Really? Lots and lots of bounces, like obstacle courses, m just regular bounces. This one you really have sumo cool. wrestlers. Um, no, we're not going to have the sumo wrestlers, okay. but we're going to have this one really cool one called Jacob's Ladder. Okay. Which I haven't seen out okay. anywhere yet, so I'm excited about that one. You right. climb, you, you competitively climb a ladder against somebody else. And so the ladder's on the ground, or you're going up? No, you're on a. It's like a angle, like a 45 degree angle. Okay. And uh, you got all this bounce stuff behind you. So if you f happen to fall off, right. then you're perfectly safe. So I think, no you know, like older kids will like that. And so I think what, that's 50 year old kids or you mean like uh, 17 year old kids, <laughs> 17 year old kids. Okay. All right. I'll so, like it. So okay. I guess, Pony yeah, rides. Pony Let's rides. run through what all you're going to have. Can I'll Leslie talk that. at any point? No. I, I okay. She's not allowed. All right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Leslie doesn't morning talk. Oh, really? <laughs> really don't. I don't. Okay. Um, anyway, what's going on? So it starts at 3 o'clock, right? right? So they come in the building first. No. No coming in the building. We're going to okay. have two registration tents, and they'll be located at really Is that Sherry coming in on her bike? No. Okay. I, I thought that was Shelby. Okay. All right. Good enough. I don't know who that is. Um... <laughs> Right. Two registration tents, and you go there, and you park first. Park first. I would park first. You don't drive right straight to the registration. No, not tent. drive through registration. No. Okay, That'd not drive. Really cool, it would be cool though. We that should add that cool. for next year. We should. Okay. Um, All right. All right. Register. I guess the next year we should have them register in advance. Well, that's one of the things that we're looking at. And then the just scan year. them as they come through. Well, here's the like really cool thing. Like that easy tithe. Yeah. Um, go ahead. Well, you do do two things at the same time when you're What's registering. That? You you get a bracelet, which is what lets us know that you've, you know, been, registered. you've been registered and that okay. gets you on the rides and everything. Okay. But even bigger, that registration card that you fill out, right. which is minimal information, just like a zip social code security, stuff like that. Social security. Name, address, no. your neighbor's yeah, social no. security number. <laughs> just a zip code. Okay. Um, just a zip. And, Are you saying and, just and zip an, it or an just email. Zip? And an okay. email. Because what you're doing is you're registering for the raffle. Okay. And we're going to be giving What's away a raffle? A raffle. I, I don't really know the definition of a raffle. Well, it's a raft. A raffle. <laughs> raffle. What's a raffle? It's um it's what happens you do you know when as your we plate talk? is empty. Right. And um you, you understand you, you have admitted earlier you've been to college. I did. I'm admitting earlier I haven't. Right. As the conversation goes, folks, you'll have to figure out who really graduated. Your education's wearing off on her. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> One of the two of us is leading the other. 
<laughs> okay. It's your show. Oh, okay. How many years of college did you have? <laughs> Six. Oh, get out of there. For I real? Did. I, I would have guessed eight. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now we're playing some music. I don't know what that's for. Is this your college alma mater? <laughs> no. <laughs> Did you hear the music? I've been playing Rocky Top, although that's not my alma mater either. So. Okay. There's. Um, if you ever hear the music again, it means I'm that we're sounding quiet. silly. Oh, really? Is that yeah. calling signal? Yeah. Straighten up. Yeah. It's straighten up. Right. This is a very professional show. I'm, I'm on it. Okay. All right. There are FCC standards, you know. <laughs> And we are currently not meeting them. <laughs> Evidently. <laughs> but, okay. but the raffle, a right. raffle, you, you enter and at the activity stage. What's it cost to enter the raffle? It's free. Okay. i got to be honest with you. All week long, people are saying, this doesn't sound normal. It, it doesn't sound normal. That's what Are we going to be receiving Facebook an too. offering or something? We No. We've gotten on Facebook that, too. Like, what's Okay, people do not relate anything to do with the church and it being free it, it is free it's absolutely free it's and it's and it's free because we Go families ahead. are important at eagles nest We're, okay. they, they, they just really are and we know that a lot of families are financially struggling but you know when you come out and you come to something like eagle fest that creates memories that you just want it to be a, a good day we just do we just want and when it doesn't cost day. anything it makes it even more memorable uh, yeah Okay. Absolutely. Now we will have food vendors available okay. if you don't like hot dogs, because oh, I don't. So I'll be allowed to buy a crab cake sandwich. I, I've heard that we have crab cakes coming. That's what I've heard. How about donuts? Donuts. We got many donuts even, so really? you can have a whole bunch of them and not feel as bad. That's a good idea. Yeah. If I drink water with them, they should be non-fattening. Absolutely. Okay. Let's go back to the raffle. Because they though. tell me when your sugar's high, if you drink a lot of water, it dilutes it. That. I have no idea. My husband's a nurse. He would know. That wasn't what I went okay. to college for. All right. Did you have something else to say or were you well, done? Well, raffles start at 4 o'clock. Okay. Raffles so, start at 4 o'clock. So the all sooner right. you get registered, the more right. raffles you'll be in because once you're in, you're in all day. Okay. So we just keep drawing from the same registration cards. No kidding. Yeah. And we've got... I okay. Mean, so there's an incentive stuff. to get here early. There is an incentive to get here early. We've got bikes. Okay. Oh, I've got a whole sheet of that. We've got bikes. So what, these are like motorcycles? No, like kids' bikes. And then we've got... A, Do you have to pedal them? Yeah. Oh, okay. It's, a, it's good for you. Okay. We've got gift cards from Ruby Tuesday, Rudertown. Who's Ruby Tuesday? I, you, know, you mean the restaurant Ruby I Tuesday? I do. Okay. I do. Could we, be related to Susan Monday. <laughs> <laughs> I think be. she might be. Both from Distant Jersey. Distant cousins. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Georgia House, Miltonian. Oh, there's another. Now, who's Georgia House? Georgia House. <sighs> who's the Georgia of Georgia House? I, you know, I don't know. Was there a Georgia in Georgia House? I'm not sure. Is or, it got what, to do or, with did they, uh, or did they start with like Southern Fair, and so they called themselves Georgia, Georgia. House? I don't know. That's a, that would be, I would like to. You're know the one that. that started talking about it first. I, I, All right, what are you saying? That. These are gift certificates we're getting. You're getting way off gift track here. <laughs> okay. We got a little kids electric police car. We've okay. got a cedar a cedar playhouse. Is it a town or a state police vehicle? It, it looks like town. Town. Yeah. Here's my bigger question. This Kawasaki mule. Yeah. <laughs> is that a raffle item? It is not a raffle item. Okay. We just brought it in overnight to it's keep it. It's the first safe. time I've seen it in the lobby of the church, to be honest with you. I must not get here early enough on Sundays. When you come in that door and you walk right into the back of a Kawasaki, it is pretty interesting. Jolting. Right. Like, Whoa. Mm -hmm. It's a vehicle in there. Okay, go ahead. You got some raffle items is what you're saying? Yes. And so okay. that's what the registration does. It gets right, you so in you the raffle. Here, you, you get here, you get registered. You park first. Park first. Okay, park first, then get registered. Yes. And you get, get a wristband. Wristband. Okay, mm -hmm. we are not charging anything for anything nope. unless you decide on your own, hey, I want some other food. Exactly. Okay, the, and the we actually... also get you that hot dog lunch. The yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay, so that's kind of mandatory to get the free lunch. Yes. yes. Okay. Um... All right, so, and it's kind of, we're hoping everybody just gets one meal per person because we do only have 2,500. 2, okay. Yeah, they, yeah. So. Um, and we're actually going to be marking the bracelets. So okay. th there really is only one one meal per person. So we're marking them. We're going to see. I'm going to test that theory. Got, you, you go. <laughs> you try to get two hot dogs out of Put on a pair of glasses and okay. see if they, a wig, put on a wig okay. and see if they, they know you're. Okay. But yeah, we, but if you do get hungry, we have, I mean, really, really good food vendors. We've got well, burgers and beans. Burgers and beans. Chick-fil-A, Pretzel okay. Factory, Milton Lions Club is coming. They've got oh, 
They have a very nice trailer when they get here. Take notice of it's, that. It's a 40-foot trailer. <laughs> okay. Um, did, did you sell it to them? I'm not sure if it's 40-foot. I was told 40. Okay. Anyway, they've got really good funnel cake, too. I'm going to measure this. Check out the funnel cake. They have funnel cakes, too? That's what I think they do. Okay. All right. Go ahead. Kona Ice, BK okay. Catering, B&B Concessions, Snow Yo, Abbott's Grill. Yeah, Abbott's them. Grill. Yep. Bucks Hydration. They're going to be, Bucks, um, they're going to be selling iced coffee. Really? All, yeah, hot okay. iced coffee. And then nothing better mini donuts. So all right. if you choose So all that's available like, yeah, for purchase. For purchase. If Starting you about 3 o'clock. Yes, if you get yeah, hungry. But it's not mandatory. It's not mandatory, no. Okay. We, so. it, you, can, you could ride the fun slide over and over and over all day absolutely free if you wanted to. Okay. All right, so you've got rides, you've got pony rides. Mm -hmm. What we else got you got? Music? The Is there music game. all day? We do. Okay. We have music all day. Um, we got the carnival games for okay. free too, with lots of really neat prizes. Okay. And we do have the music. We've got beginning at three, Clifford Keith Band. Okay. And then at four, Scrubgrass and Langley. Okay. At five, Third and North Street. Six, Bride Dressed in Black. Seven, Mike Guess. And at eight, Not My Own. Okay. So a uh, different. And then really at nine. That's fireworks. Fireworks. What are you calling them? Pyrotechnics? Um, What's the word? Pyromusical display. Right. That's what I meant to say. Pyromusical display. So they're set to music, yeah. Okay. And this is a professional company that goes yes. worldwide. They're not just located. Yeah. It's fireworks extravaganza. Really? Mm-hmm. Okay. And so we're all ready. Now, there is one thing we need to make everybody aware of. Once they get ready to start the fireworks, nobody can enter or... Or exit the property. Yep, the fire and marshal I, wants to keep everybody well, safe. Well, I think it's and because of where we're doing the fireworks. Yeah. That is right near the entrances and exits. So, in other words, if you're coming just for the fireworks, yeah. you're, are, are people allowed to do that? Yeah, they can come when they can. So come just get for here the at eight thirty, quarter or nine, if yeah. they just want to come for the fireworks. Yeah. But just understand that once they start, nobody can leave until they're all done. Absolutely. Okay, I got that. All right. Is there anything else I need to know? Are you both done? I could talk all day. Could you really? I could. really could. Right. She really could. How long of a video can we make, Colin? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, let me mention a few things. Brooks is on vacation, and you're missing all this, Brooks. Um, Colin is helping me. He's doing a real good job. Weller's opens at 9. Is Walls open today? Walls is open. Yep, we open at 8 o'clock. Open eight till noon. Yep. Okay, 8 to noon. Mm -hmm. All right. And Josh will be in there running things? Yep. Okay. And then I wanted to mention Jerry's lawn care. Now, one thing that he does is cut grass and believe it or not we had him cut the grass at Bridgeville the other day and it only took seven hours with two guys so wasn't too bad but it looks like a million bucks so anyway he's happy I'm happy but Jerry Santoro is the guy real good guy we've known him for years local guy been in business about 10 years the one thing that he really is passionate about like I don't know if it's I don't know if you can get passionate about cutting grass, but he does lawn care, and he comes out to my house and does these lawn treatments and all this stuff. But more importantly, he wants me to let people know if you have a paver project, like maybe a sidewalk or a driveway, or like I have a big cement pad, and then i got pavers all around it and so on. He likes to help people design what they might want done. He likes to quote it, and then hopefully he likes to get the job and do the job. So if you need some paver work done, he's a real good guy. He's actually certified, and um, he's been doing it for many years free estimates and he actually does come out and give the estimate and get back to you and so on um, so if you have any questions about paver work but he also sells installs and services irrigation systems so if you have a nice lawn and you want to keep it nice and if you haven't got enough rain this year we've been fortunate we've got a lot of good rain the corn crops are growing I know my grass won't stop growing but anyway whether you need some irrigation work whether you need some lawn work he even sells firewood believe it or not but also does paver so his name is jerry santoro jerry's lawn care 363-6025 that's 302-363-6025 on the web it starts with www.jlc jerry's lawn care dash llc.com jlc dash llc.com so jerry's lawn care all right what's next amy sherry and leslie so who have we got here amy and yes. Leslie's here. Good morning, Leslie. Good morning. How are you doing? Doing all right. I saw you here last night, getting everything straight. We've been making doing sure the things. I's were dotted and the T's were crossed. That's preparation. You're out here. there with a ruler, measuring the grass to make sure it wasn't too high, but not too low. I never seen nothing like it. I know, and and doing the test spin on mm -hmm. one of the rides, perhaps. Maybe well, I did see. 
Two women broke in here last night and went down one of the slides. I don't, I don't know something. what you're talking about. No. It was half blurry. I refuse to accept yeah. that I have knowledge of that. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> you resemble that remark is what you're saying. Yeah. All right. So, anyway, how are you feeling about things, Miss Reese? I think this is that, Leslie Reese. That this is going to be a, a really great day. We're excited about it. We have been preparing for months. There is a lot to do. Um, the community is going to feel loved on when they come here. There's um, something for everybody. Um, we're just going to believe that that little weather pattern they're talking about is going to hold out for us um, for the evening. But everything's going to go off without a hitch. We've got uh, 250 volunteers coming on the scene wow. later today to How serve much do they the community. Get paid? You know, we pay them in t-shirts. Really? Mm -hmm. new? And water bottles. New or used? They're new. What about the water bottles? Free of charge. Uh, new or used? They're new. Brand new water bottles. Brand new water bottles. Never been used before. Nope. <laughs> nope. And that's that's what they get, and they're happy to have it. So, really? <laughs> yeah. Everybody's excited about a water bottle? It's going to be hot. They'll be happy to have it. Oh, really? You. Yeah. Okay. Well, you didn't say it was full of water. It has water. Of course it has water. I mean, because it. it could be a new water bottle and not be full of water. Oh, my goodness. It's too early for that. <laughs> okay. I can't do it. It's technically a bottle of water instead of a water bottle. Okay. That's a good point. That was my bad. Have you been to college too, Leslie? <laughs> I, I, yes, I okay. have. Okay. I'm mesmerized with people that have been to college. Oh, wise one. In other words, it's just new for me to be in the present. Colin, have you been to college? I have not. I've been to a college. Oh, have but you? But I didn't go to. <laughs> I didn't attend. You didn't attend. Got there and <laughs> barely attended registration. high school. <laughs> <laughs> registration form was more than you could take. Right. <laughs> too much. Not paperwork. to mention the cost. Yeah. <laughs> oh gosh. All right. Well, anyway, so Leslie and Amy have both been to college. Folks, as you listen, please be aware of that, okay? Uh, Leslie, you've had children? I have had children, <laughs> yes. I still have them. <laughs> I think that erases the college education. Oh, boy. <laughs> Neutralizes. Not to mention if you've been to sleep lately. <laughs> No, not I find with some people, every time they go to sleep, it voids out everything they learned that day. <laughs> not a whole lot of sleep lately, but I do. I still have them. I, I let them stay. You hear that music? Oh, we're being silly again. <laughs> Another FCC <laughs> oh. violation. This could mean it's 730. They're shutting us down for about three minutes now. <laughs> right. okay. We'll be back, folks, after the break. If you want more of this entertainment, go to WellerDoesNowMarva.com because it'll still stream while we're on a break. We'll be right back. Catch up when you wake up. Dan Gaffney. You've got to listen to Dan. He made the switch. <laughs> Absolutely. Susan Monday. Sumo. Local topics, local conversation. The Delaware News Hour with Alan Ludell. Weekdays at noon. It's not finger pointing. It's not vitriol. Jared Morris. Weekday afternoons, 3 till 7. He totally cracks me up. That's us. Live and local all day, every weekday. Thank you for making the switch and for calling Delaware 105.9. Partly sunny, warm, and humid today. There'll be a shower or thunderstorm in spots late this afternoon. High today, 86 degrees. A thunderstorm in a few spots this evening. Otherwise, turning out partly cloudy tonight, low 74. Tomorrow, hot and humid with sunshine mixing with some clouds. High 90 degrees. Monday, partly sunny, hot, and humid with a shower or thunderstorm around. High 91. I'm Mike Lassini in the Delaware 105.9 Weather Center. Delaware 105.9 News Time is 7.30. Good morning, I'm John Butler. Delaware State Police have arrested a Magnolia man after a search warrant was conducted as, at his residence. 31-year-old Ray Horsey was arrested on Friday after a search warrant uncovered heroin, lag, wrappers, marijuana, a handgun, and $2,000 in cash. The warrant was issued after Horsey, a four-time convicted felon, Failed to register as a Tier 2 sex offender, he faces a long list of charges, including three counts of endangering the welfare of a child, possession of marijuana, and drug paraphernalia, and several gun charges. Horsey was committed to SCI on a $28,300 secure bond. CBS News covers the nation and the world next. Delaware 105.9 News Time, 731.
CBS News updates. Wind whipped a wildfire over a section of the I-15 in California's Cajon Pass last night, chasing about 60 drivers and their passengers from their cars. It was terrifying. Did you feel so, the heat on our face? Yeah. So all the firefighters, God bless you. Thank, Thank you. you. You guys are very courageous. Several dozen vehicles were either destroyed or damaged. Two minor injuries. Terry Kasinga of Caltrans says that crews hope to have traffic flowing again later today. There probably will need to be some surface repair. Hopefully it's not going to be real deep. But the good news is this is under construction. It is a paving job. We have a contractor up there who does that for a living. So if it comes to the point where repairs need to be made, they can be made hopefully pretty quickly. The fire now about 5% contained. Four structures were either gutted by flames. 3,500 acres have been charred. CBS News Update. I'm Gary Nunn. Plans, views, and opinions expressed on the air at Delaware 105.9 are those of the hosts, callers, and guests, and not those of staff, management, or advertisers at Delmarva Broadcasting Company. The following program is a paid commercial presentation. The comments, views, and opinions expressed do not oh, necessarily commercial. reflect the views of the staff, Great management, event. or advertisers of Delaware 105.9. Anything. Show number 100. All right, tell me when we're back. Start Wiggle now. Your ears. Start now. Yeah. All right, everybody, you're listening to Weller Does Delmarva. Jim Weller here. I've gotten behind schedule. I realized something. Amy and Leslie both went to college, and evidently, with all that education, they talk longer. And we ran right out of time. Okay, so I need to hit a couple things that I missed. Uh, the creative anchor is uh, the guy, Jonathan Hazelwood, who is working more with Brooks than me, but he's actually working with us at Weller's to create a brand new website, which every time we talk to him, we add more ideas to it. He has ideas. We have ideas. We're very excited about it. So we're in no hurry because I look at it like we're building a big building. And then once the building is built, we're going to fill all the shelves with all this new information at Weller's. So if you own a business and you have a website, he can help you tune yours up, adjust it, add to it, take away from it, or completely just disassemble it and build a brand new website. He can give you ideas, whether it's technical support, if you need some help with some logos or graphic designs or your social marketing or anything. He is a good all-around good guy, very informative. Um, every time me and Brooks meet with him, what I like is he talks to Brooks in the technical terms and he talks to me in the terms that a 50-some-year-old man can understand. So anyway, if you have any website-related questions or anything like that, he is your go-to guy. His name is John. Jonathan, Jonathan Hazelwood, real nice, friendly guy, like I say, and very, very internet knowledgeable and website knowledgeable. And his phone number is 526-7250, 526-7250, website, thecreativeanchor.com. So give him a call, tell him I sent you, and he'll take good care of you. Now, um, we got a lot of ads going on at Wellers. I just want to encourage you to go to my website, wellers.com. Click on where it says ads. We just created one that's got a lot of free stuff with the purchase of a trailer. <laughs> One of the biggest promotions we've ever done. It just started Wednesday. Check that out. Show number 100 is coming up August 1st. If you want to mark that date down, we're looking for a big turnout. We are going to host that show at Community Bank. Our good friend Jack Riddle, actually El Presidente, he's asked us to respond to him that way. Now, uh, we hang out with him on Friday mornings at Jimmy's Grill, and he just reminds us of that. It's now El Presidente, Jack Riddle. So anyway... Has he treated you that way yet, Colin? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and, and I never knew what that red carpet inside the door at Jimmy's Grill is for, but when he comes, we are supposed to go to roll the door and roll that out. And the bag but, of uh, rose petals. We're supposed to lay those on the ground also. I thought they were weeds. <laughs> anyway, um, Jack Riddle, Community Bank, great place to deal. Good people. We're just having fun, Jack. And he's probably not even awake this early because the golf course no, is not Well, he's got bankers hours. Oh, that's right. Bankers hours. Right. What is that? I don't noon? Know. Yeah. Going at 11, take an hour lunch, and then go golfing in the afternoon. Yeah, at noon. At noon. Right. Anyway, we're going to do the show at Community Bank on August 1st, and we're going to have a little mini, I don't know what we're doing there, but we're going to have a good time. So we might have a cake. We might have 100, uh, 100 cupcakes. I'm not sure. But we're going to have a good time, so mark that down August 1st if you would, okay? Um, let's see here. Wall Service Center, you want to talk about anything there? Uh, yeah, we can talk about it. I'm actually okay. looking for some help. So, and you and guys are busy there. We are busy, very busy. Isn't that um, exciting? It is exciting. 
In other words, you know, I mean, I'm, I'm, my business is having a good year. Mm-hmm. I'm under the impression you're having a good year. Yep. You're needing some more help. I've been able to get some more help, so let's and, help you get some help. And judging by how hard it is to find somebody, uh, I'm everybody's, thinking everybody's busy. Well, here's what I think. I think the economy had some, some uh, adjustments. We'll call them an adjustment, mm-hmm. okay? And it had some adjustments, but I think the people that were good business people survived those adjustments. And now we're here. And, and us. And us. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the good people <laughs> and us survived that adjustment. And now um, we're all looking for some people to do some good work. And um you're looking to? Yeah, definitely so, looking for. What are you uh, looking for? I'm looking for an auto tech uh, okay. guy in the shop, a mechanic. Um, okay. Uh, if you need Indeed. a job, and are willing to work, and are willing to work, yep, we like you to show up almost every day. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Every day that you're scheduled for, <laughs> right. anyway. <laughs> right. Uh, and uh, just give us a call. Okay. Four two two eight one one zero, or stop in. We're right at two twenty Northeast Front Street in downtown Talk to Milford. Josh, sure. Talk to Josh. Uh, you can drop a resume off. Okay. Uh, he's got applications there you can fill out if you want to email us your resume. Do you want a picture of their toolbox or anything? Uh, no, but you need to have your own tools. Okay, that would be important. Right, that's very important. <laughs> and they need to fit your hand. Right. <laughs> in other words, you know, don't just you need go to look by. like you know how to use them. Right. In other words, you want to have them to have a. You want them to look used. Yeah. Right. Uh, okay. Drop us an email with your resume at okay. wallsservice at gmail dot com. Wallsservice right. at gmail dot com. And. Okay. Uh, yeah, we we want to hear from you, and uh, we're looking to hire somebody almost immediately. Okay, we're because kind of you are and, busy and getting busier. Yes, that's right. Well, what do you have? Five bays there. We have five bays. Yep, a couple Gosh. of them are too deep, and uh, okay. Yeah, we've got. And you do a little bit of everything. Yeah, we do everything from, from old chains going to, up to replacing an engine or transmission or head work or okay timing belts. Brakes. What's that cluster thing you do? Instrument cluster. Instrument rebuilding. cluster yep. rebuilding. Okay. Yep. yep. All right. Anything else? No, I think that's it. Um, You can, but can you do it at 10-10? No. (laughs) Okay. (laughs) This is Amy Brown again, folks. You didn't get enough over the first (laughs) half hour. I I took my car into Walls Mm -hmm. for an oil change, but they noticed something really, really bad before I went to Tennessee. Oh, well, that's kind of handy. This was a Wednesday. They fit me in to fix it on a Thursday, and then something else was busted, and they fit me in again on that Friday. I I just had exceptional service, and I just want to thank Oh, they didn't schedule you you three weeks out or anything like that? No, it it was amazing, and it was all stuff that, you know, they were like, you don't have to do it now. I said, well, I'm headed to Tennessee. They were like, oh, no, you do have to do it now. And they were just taking care of me, and I felt cared for, and my car... Made it to Tennessee and back, and it was because of home. Wow. Well, isn't that nice? There we go. Okay. All right. Well, that was nice. Is that so you're endorsing Wall Service Center? Okay. Well, good. Now, Colin, how do you feel about the check she gave you? (laughs) Before she went on vacation, it wasn't home to answer her phone. I'm just kidding. I was just kidding, folks. All right. We have have very very good customers, and we uh, honestly, we really don't have any problems with bad checks and things like that. And that's not an invitation for people to come and write his bad check. But <laughs> it's not an open door. <laughs> right. Okay. All right. What is next? I've got Wall Service Center yep. here. Watch us. Yes, this show's worth watching. <laughs> anyway. Um, How about your new ad? Do you have a new ad out? I have no idea. What are you talking okay. about? I don't know. It says my new ad, free stuff. Oh, well, yeah, but I was going to skip that. But okay. I do have a new ad. How do you like all my notes all right. there? I'm going to hit Mid-South Audio real quick. I like how you got the notes and then don't follow them. <laughs> <laughs> we took our break. I did right. that. <laughs> right. That had nothing to do with us, though. Right. Right. Good job, right. Fran. Good job. <laughs> Keep us on schedule. Mid-South Audio, good friend of mine, Kevin Short in Georgetown. He's also in the group called The Reminders. They just played in Milford, didn't they? You streamed that? I did, yeah. yeah at right the, at the uh, Milford Library? At the there? library, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep, you can go to catchitlive.com if you want to watch that concert. Really? Yeah. So right there. Mm-hmm. Okay. That was just this past Wednesday night. Yeah, it was. Okay. Well, anyway, we're going to talk about something different. Mid-South Audio, but Kevin Short, who is in the Reminders, also happens to own Mid-South Audio. Right. And Mid-South Audio, if I had to describe them, is a big company, but they can do whatever you need in the way of, let's say you were having a concert and you needed a stage, a platform, crowd control, whatever you may need. And I asked about the crowd control. It doesn't mean barking dogs or tasers. It means Night like sticks. these... <laughs> it means these barriers that they would put up, in other words, right. you know. So anyway, but crowd control, stages, platforms, microphones, wires, in-ear monitors, amplifiers, speakers. What am I missing? Um, 
Let's say you needed a drum set. He can rent you a drum set. Let's say you needed um, a keyboard. He can rent you a keyboard. Let's say, I always say if you wanted to make a jingle, but nobody makes jingles anymore. So it's more like you want to record a song, in other words. Mm -hmm. Or if you're quitting your job and you want to record your parting exit. In other words, here's all the things I wish I could have said to you in person, but now I've got to record it. So anyway, whatever you want to do. In other words, he has a full-blown recording studio. That was actually in poor taste. But anyway, he has a full-blown <laughs> recording <getting> studio. <laughs> getting... uh, DVDs. You have to turn your mic on. Oh. It's How do you on. mass it's produce on. DVDs? You it's mean on. I was kidding with you, Leslie, Sherry, <laughs> Leslie, Sherry, <laughs> Amy. Leslie, Sherry, Amy. We're one person. Okay, before we get started, we have to clarify. Yes. Have you or have you not been to college? I I have been college some. <laughs> <laughs> Dropping your son off? <laughs> no, yeah, that too. <laughs> I'll okay. take a class or two while I'm there. <laughs> anyway, okay, now, folks, you're listening to. Sherry Yerkes. Good morning. Good morning. All right. So anyway, you were going to say something about Mid South Audio. Yes, I've used them. So have you really? I have. I have used them. And what um, did you use them for? Uh, for my dance studio. Uh, they really? Took, yes, I've used them for the lights. Oh, I they've forgot lighting. Up, yeah, they've come and set up lights for me. Okay. And I've also like runway lights. No stage lights. Stage lights. Stage okay. lights for the All performance. Right. And um, when I make the DVD, my son who goes to college for film, he makes the DVD. Okay. And I take it to them, and then and they, they can ma mass and they it. mass produce it for me. Very, I mean, very, very reasonable. Really? Yes. How were yes. they to deal with? Difficult bunch? Oh, absolutely not. Really? No. Yeah, really nice, nice guys. Nice and friendly? Yes, nice and friendly. Charge you sales tax? No, nope. no yeah. sales tax okay. free. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right, well, good. Easy to work with. Easy to work with. Mm -hmm. How did you feel about that? Oh, I like easy to work with. <laughs> okay. <I didn't> right. <laughs> easy is good. Easy is good. Okay. Well, anyway, it's midsouthaudio.com on the web, 856-6993, 856-6993. Good people to deal with. You heard it here first, and um, I like them. Kevin Short, good group. Have I missed anything, Colin? No, I don't think so. Now I've got written down Amy, yeah. Sherry, Leslie. What mm -hmm. do we pick one? <laughs> or is it a group project? We're like Benifer. Okay. We need to come up with our own name. <laughs> I'm going to be thinking about that all day. Okay. Okay. Well, what do you gals want to talk about? Ladies, gals, whatever. Well, one thing that we neglected to talk about was, you know, how this is free. And one of the reasons it's free is because okay. we have incredible sponsors. Okay. Yeah. We have amazing sponsors. We've okay. spent a few months um, talking to different sponsors, and people just jumped on. And I, um, I know at first... The leadership was like, ah, I'm not sure. And then when they started coming through the the, the sponsors, um, I mean, we have some some big some big sponsors and okay. people that maybe this year wanted to try us out and maybe next year might even be a little like test driving us, test driving us for right. our first See if we're year. For real. <laughs> yes. See if this is really all yes. free. Yes. So, um, but uh, tons of. I mean, we had probably over 30 sponsors. Wow. How many have you had? Uh, about 30 sponsors. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was just going to see if you going to say the same answer twice. That's all. Okay, so you've had about 30 sponsors. About 30 sponsors. And you yeah. only wanted 20, right? Yeah. Well, okay. you know, I we were expect we weren't expecting this, so this was really? great. Yeah. Yeah. How many people you think are going to come here today? <sighs> uh, I mean, do you think 500? No. <laughs> we already have 500 registered nearly. Yeah, we already For have real? 500 Yeah, pre-registered. The campground people and the volunteers. Oh, my goodness. So, yeah, we already have 500. Well, you had 250 volunteers. 250 volunteers. Okay. So are you thinking 550? <laughs> <laughs> well, we originally were thinking three to 5,000. Okay. Um, but now with uh, Amy and her and her uh, Facebook skills, mathematical, yes, um, her college okay. education that she has, um, she algorithms <laughs> is what she's using. <laughs> uh, our Facebook post has reached over twenty thousand. Now. I do need to tell you, Colin and I have spent a lot of time clicking on and off that thing. <laughs> did you? Did, did you? Are you we the wore 10, out two mice. I've only done about ten thousand myself. <laughs> okay. okay. All right. So keep that in mind. Okay. Anyway, so you're thinking a big crowd for yes, real. Yes, we're thinking wow. a big crowd, very okay. big crowd. So get here early. Get your parking get spot. All right. Well, right now there's a there's a few left. Right? Huh? Bring a blanket and a chair. And yeah. Day. We yes. Have some green space that you can. 
camp out, not you know. Yeah, yeah. That got real loud. Hang out in. Yeah. yeah. Okay. He's shaking That's his just head Amy. like, "Yep." When I turn that knob, it did that. <laughs> you turn Amy. <laughs> okay. <down. laughs> uh, yeah. Turn, go ahead and mute her for a while. <laughs> but this, uh, just to let you know, this channel that she's on is right. really low. So. Oh, really? Yeah, the output is going to the station. So I don't. Have know you ever seen that. how tall she is? Yeah, I have. <laughs> She's vertically challenged, <laughs> especially compared to Leslie. Right. All right. <laughs> All right. So, of the three of you, who's the tallest? I'm five four. Have you guys ever done IQ tests? Yeah. The yeah. three of you. Yes. <laughs> I, I refuse to answer that. Yes. That's I all she remembers is yes. I plead the fifth. So no, no yes. numbers, but. I'm a genius. Okay. That's why I remember it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> At least in your own mind, anyway, right? Okay. So, anyway, we're expecting thousands of people. Thousands, no kidding. For yeah. real. Is that for, right? For real. Thousands. <laughs> thousands of people. Oh, okay. and, I, and, and something very important. Did we, um, were we done with the sponsors? Do you I, want to name them? Do, yeah, I can name. Do we name okay. all of them? Or it's up to name you. Some of them. Name okay. all eighteen of them. <laughs> the pretty ones. Okay. <laughs> the pretty ones. <laughs> all right. Um, so Renee Delin Salon. That's in Dover. That's in Dover. Okay. Um, Kids Closet. And here, that's, that's um, in Lewis. Okay. Um, we have Brendan Warfel Construction in Milford. Yep. Uh, Community Bank, who we just and, spoke of. Yep. In Lewis, yep. uh, Rita's in Dewey Beach. Oh, okay. Yep. Um, Savini Complete Construction. Okay. Uh, Select Financial Group in Milford. Mm -hmm. uh, this one you might know. Wellers. Yes, I know Utility. that. Yep. Trailers. Yeah. Um, let's see. State Farm. Mark Peniel okay. out of Georgetown. Yep. Um, JK Sounds. Okay. And let's see, Providence Acres. That's it out of Lincoln. That's JK Sounds. Is that Jeff Dukes? Mm -hmm. Yes. Jeff and Kay? Yes. Okay. They're helping with the sound JK. with all. Get it? Yeah. JK. Mm -hmm. um, Sharp as a broken pencil. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Uh, what was the, after JK, who was it? Uh, Providence Acres. Okay. Out of Lincoln. That's the pony rides and everything. Oh. They're donating their time and everything to come out today. Chuck so. and um, Lori. Yes, Chuck and Lori Westwood. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mr. and Mrs. Westwood. Mr. and Mrs. Westwood. Okay. Yes. All right. Okay. <laughs> L&W Insurance. Okay. Bill Strickland. Yep. Murray, Phillip, uh, Murray Phillips, PA. Oh, um, Ron Phillips. Yeah. Um, Shamrock Farms. Okay. Uh, it's a par three golf course. Oh, yeah, the Shamrock Which Farms. way is that? That way? Towards Ellendale? That is yes. that way. Or is it that way? Down the highway? No, it's no. towards Ellendale. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yep. Um, Delaware Electric Cooperative. Okay. Um, Mount Air. Mount Air. Yep. Brandywine Senior Living at Seaside Point. Mm, okay. Um, Rehoboth Moose Lodge, 646. Okay. Uh, Bill Davis Painting. Bill Davis. Grotto's Pizza. Grotto's Pizza. Uh, Maioli Companies. That's They have oh, a lot of McDonald's. Mayoli. Yes, yeah. they do. Mm -hmm. uh, and the one in Bridgeville. Yeah. Yes, they mm -hmm. I think it's like six of them. Mm -hmm. um, There's not one in Lincoln yet, but go ahead. Yeah, Secure View <laughs> Systems. Okay. Um, Matt's Auto Care. Okay. Um, Matt's Auto Care is actually really cool. They're going to have a tow truck here. Really? All day long. That's so good. if someone locks their keys in the car or something, they can't get their car started, needs a jump, whatever it is, they're going to be on site to have it for free for anybody who comes. Wow. So Sue Costello, if you're listening. <laughs> <laughs> And you come here and your battery goes dead? <laughs> You're good. <clears throat> You're good. You're um, covered. <laughs> uh, Bob Willian Sons. Okay. Uh, Pediatric and Adolescent Center. Okay. Uh, Napa Fisher Napa. Auto Parts right here in yep. Milton. Yep. Uh, Nutrisystem. Oh, I love Nutrisystem. Um, McGee Plumbing and Heating. Okay. And Spazado Irrigation. Okay. Very good. Yes. Anybody else? I think that's it. I hope you did not forget one. Oh, wait, I did. Okay. Toys R Us. Toys R Us. Toys R Us. In Salisbury. In Salisbury, yes. All right. Very good. Eagle Fest, folks. Don't miss it. Is there a Facebook page still? There is. You can okay. um, like us on Facebook, and we'll send you updates all day about what's starting when. And that's really? Eagle Fest BE. Okay. <laughs> and, or you can go to our website, www. Yay, I get a mic mic. Eaglesnest.ch. What was that about? Did your headsets quit working? That one. Really? Yeah. Too low to the ground? It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't really know how to use it She anyway. was below center of gravity. <laughs> okay. I yeah, she wasn't operating it correctly. <laughs> All right. What were you just talking about? www.eaglesnest.ch, and that'll get you to schedules. We've got our map even on that website. Really? Everything. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. So all roads lead to Milton. Absolutely. If today. you turn right today, or left and go straight yeah. long enough. Uh, yeah. 
Okay. All right. Next, I want to mention another sponsor. You mentioned L and W supported this event. Yes. I just want to mention they support my show, my friend Bill Strickland, and all the fine folks up at L and W Insurance. I've been dealing with them for years, 25, 30 years. They take good care of me. My daughters deal with them. My son deals with them. You can get auto insurance, health insurance, life insurance. Um, you can insure your home. You can get. Oh, I have all these what's called umbrella policies. How many umbrella policies can any one person own? Well, we got bunches of them. So anyway, if you need insurance and you want to talk to somebody that really knows the insurance industry, you know, I heard a really neat radio commercial the other day, you know, about how, you know, uh, you may say 15 minutes on the phone, but man, it's priceless when you need help, mm. you know, and the nice thing about l and is they're here, they're live, they're local, they support things in the community, and they're part of the community. So uh, unlike buying online or buying somewhere where it's a faceless transaction, you can deal with human beings at l and I like when I call, if it's during normal business hours i always get a person and they've done real good for me they'll do real good for you if you have insurance and i hope you do i think it's worth getting a second opinion and making sure you're properly insured so their phone number is 856-7828-856-7828-856-7828 and then on the web, it's lwinsurance.com. Wellers.com is also where all my stuff is at. And um, how are we doing over there, Colin? Doing are good. We out of time? Nope, you still got an no. uh, hour and eight minutes. minutes. Yeah. <laughs> an hour and eight minutes. Yeah. All right. Now, of these three ladies, who should we let talk next? Are you asking me? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Who? What? One of them answered already? Yeah. <laughs> Who, Leslie? Yeah, I said Sherry can talk next. She oh, Sherry, go ahead. In. She voted me in. Okay. Are you done? I No, I'm not oh, done. Oh, okay. I can go on and on and on. Oh, all right. Um, this so is not I, a marathon. Yeah. So it's a radio you, show. <laughs> have you guys Good. talked about, like, yes. the different prizes today? Um, yeah. Okay. Anything else? Hmm. <laughs> what are the different about, prizes? Do we talk about... I want to know, are the, the pony rides... The pony rides. There's okay. going to be pro rides. They're honestly free? They're free. You can have um, for kids. They're for kids. Okay. From 3 to 6 p.m. Okay. Um, and they get to ride. They can ride twice. Okay. Because we need right. to give the horses and ponies. There's a horse and a pony. Horse we need and need to pony. give them a break a little bit. So Is there a dog and pony show going to be here today? <laughs> Um, are you, if you're talking it's, about we're me and Amy, right here. if you're talking oh, about oh, me and this Amy, this is it now. Yeah. Okay, okay. <laughs> this is All it. Right. All right. This is your dog and pony show. Okay. Now, can you help me understand why in the world would a church go to this amount of energy? Because it's totally unchurch. Right. Like. Right. Meaning, like this is not like what you would expect the church to do. I've had so many people say, "Why are you? Yeah, where, where's where's the catch? This? It's not where's Sunday. The, yeah. It's Saturday. What what's the catch? What is yeah, what there, is going to actually happen here? There is absolutely no catch. Okay, um, we are just here to love on the community, reach out into the community, and and just have a day of fun for families that's free. Okay, so what if you go to another church? Can you come to this event? Absolutely. And what if you don't go to church at all? Absolutely. We want we want you to just come and enjoy your day with your family. And okay. um, so we just want to love out. So, I mean, this would be like a form of just giving back to the community. Yeah, absolutely. Just saying, hey, we're here. We represent the community. Mm -hmm. We have hundreds of people that go to Eagle's Nest, right. you know, that are saying, look, we would like to just do something for the community yeah. we just live like in. A com it's really a community service event, like, okay. to reach out. But you will community. agree, it sounds odd it, I, that, that I a church agree. would yeah, take the energy and the money and the time yeah. we're and original. their facility. Yeah. Because look at how much work you're going to have to do between now and tomorrow morning. Yes. Yeah, tomorrow to, morning is yeah. going to be fun. Not to bring that up, but yeah, I mean, I in other words, just to think about it. I'm trying not to. Okay. I okay. would I would recommend that. <laughs> Until about 1030 tonight. <laughs> then it's hammered down. Yeah. So we've got a lot of volunteers. Um, I believe the campground has had a tremendous response to people wanting to camp during this event. Yes. Yes. The campground. Mm -hmm. I, we watched yesterday as all the campers were rolling in, mm -hmm. as uh, the rides were being set up and porta potties and all that stuff being set up. I camped last rolling. night. Did you camp? And it really made me realize just how much I love camping. <laughs> Next up, please. <laughs> oh, man. No matter how hard I try, I'm like, I'm not a camper. <laughs> but your just, grandchildren are happy campers. I know. Oh, they are happy campers. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Go ahead. Move on. <laughs> um, um, all right. Was well, there something else you yes. were going to say? Did or? we talk about fireworks at all? Um, they called it okay. something else. There was another word they used. Pyrotechnics. 
Yeah, it's well, that's just a fancy word for fireworks. Okay. So it's it's fireworks. Okay. And there, yeah, there'll be music playing while they're going off, but it's fireworks. Really? Yeah. Okay. And but um, we do need to let people know okay. that once the fireworks start, right, no one can come in or out. Okay. So the people that like try to beat the traffic with the finale and they're Wants not to get out. Uh, okay. Yeah. So that's not going to unfortunately right. that's not going to happen. This is not our happen. rule. It's a fire marshal rule. It's a rule. fire marshal right. rule. So. Makes sense to me the more I think about it because you put them over this way, they're near the entrances and exits. Right. And I don't think they want to worry about anybody saying, "Look at what happened to my car" or yeah. or something so, like so that. Yeah. So we're I didn't know if fire worker was going to land on it, yeah. you know. Let's try to get so. the word out so nobody can um so for those of you that like to try to beat the traffic, just sit back and enjoy and watch the whole right. thing. Let's your hair down relax yes. a little bit <laughs> yeah okay all right um i would like to say everybody has done a good job you've got hundreds of people involved in this yes and um some of them have actually done things yeah, a lot of tons of people. And I have a lot of tons. new volunteers. What are you weighing everybody? I am. <laughs> tons of people. I bet you if we weighed everybody, it might be a ton. A ton? <laughs> okay. You um, don't mean at this table. No. Okay, what are you saying? I only had one donut this morning. Um, Where'd you guys get donuts? Gooey donuts? Gooey donuts in Milton. And they're warm. Who's dewy? Gooey. Gooey. G. Gooey. Oh, okay. Like messy gooey. How do you spell that? G. I'm, I'm not college educated. I don't know. Amy thinks she knows. Oh no, she's picking. She's picking Leslie to spell it. G O O E Y. Gooey. Correct. Gooey. Where's mm. gooey? Doing? Is that correct? Yes. Ding. Okay. Ding. All right. Very good. Anything else? Uh, <clears throat> We're losing our audience. We're lose, Don't lose our audience. You guys. I'm sure you guys talked about the bands. I'm sure we did. Yes. Okay. Right. Now this is a marching band. Hey, we haven't talked about the activity stage. Oh, we did. Not. Ooh. Oh, look, I just turned to that page. Okay. Um, so all day long, we are going to be giving out raffles okay. all day long with the prizes that you guys talked about. Okay. What does a raffle look like? So when you get here, you have to register. Okay. Okay. You know, registration, you'll get a wristband. Even That's if you don't want a raffle? Can you not register? No, you still have Everybody's to register. Everybody's got to register. Yes, yes. Okay. Our sponsors would like to see Do you have like to show a photo numbers. ID? No. No photo ID. Any if blood you, draws? No blood draws. Okay. You just write your name, how many people are kids, how many people are adults. Ooh, that's like a test. So, yeah. Hopefully so how many people are kids how many people and are how many people are adults? adults and party. then the next question is, how many adults act like kids? <laughs> well, we'll see that when they go down the slide. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> um, and they need to put their email address because if we okay. draw the, a prize, we need oh. to be able to contact them. So you don't have to be here to win? No, you don't have to be here to win. No kidding. Yeah, because they might be over inflatables when we're announcing. I'd like to be in registration. You want to be in registration? <laughs> because everybody that want to give their email address, I got one for them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, because so that, you can win. Right, so that's how you're going to be able to get a hold of the people when they when they, they all win. be Jim at Wellers.com, Jim at Wellers.com. All right. So we're every Are we going to sell this email list? No. Absolutely okay. not. It's, it's a private email list. We oh, won't sell private. It. Private. Secret. Yes. All right. Um, and we have Anna coming from Frozen. Anna from Frozen. You know who that is, right? I don't want to be. I I know Frozen's a movie, right? Disney, uh, Disney okay. movie. Yeah, Disney. I could have Amy that's could past sing George it for down. you. I'm sure she could sing it for you. No kidding. Yeah. Well, let's do it in the last few minutes okay. of the show because we want to <laughs> hold the crowd as long as we can. <laughs> Okay. Oh, uh, keynote music with Debbie Key. Oh, uh, I know Debbie. Yeah, Debbie's okay. gonna be here with her kids. Okay. She's from Lincoln City. She's from Lincoln. Yeah, so she'll be. Singing. They built the town around her. <laughs> okay. Uh, Six thirty, we have our watermelon eating contest. Have you got people signed about. up for that? Um, we're just gonna announce in the crowd. We're gonna be announcing it all day long. Well, like how many people could enter that? Uh, we're hoping like five adults and five kids. Oh, okay. Yeah. What are you gonna do yeah. if a hundred people want to enter it? We'll pick five adults and five kids. <laughs> okay. So you're going to have 12 people total? Ten people. <laughs> okay. <laughs> hey, well, right. I went to a good public school. I think okay. we're going to take a break here. Yeah, I think Are we're we a little late on the break. So, Fran, okay. if you want to take it. We'll, uh... <laughs> Go ahead, Fran. <laughs> yeah, take, sorry. The eight o'clock break, take the 8 o'clock break now, Fran. All it's, right. We'll be back in just a couple it's minutes. It's time for CBS News. Is it? All right. Thank you.
Passengers fled. We were stuck in the path, so my car is gone. We were in bumper to bumper traffic. All the flames, they told us to get out and run. We ran up the hill. Crews spent the night repairing a section of the freeway, a major route between Los Angeles and Las Vegas. Traffic could be flowing again later today. The fire about 5% contained. Foul weather is interfering with play at the 144th British Open. CBS News correspondent Steve Futterman in St. Andrews, Scotland. And Gary, it's all about the wind. It's so windy here today, even the locals are a surprise. Even windy for Scottish people around here, yeah, definitely. Play has now been delayed for more than five hours. Winds have been measured at more than 40 miles per hour. They hope to resume play today, but it will be at least another two hours before that happens. American Dustin Johnson is currently tied for the lead at nine under par. Live at the British Open in St. Andrews, Scotland, Steve Futterman, CBS News. President Obama in his weekly address is urging support for the deal designed to stop Iran from obtaining a nuclear weapon. With this deal, they'll have to repurpose two key nuclear facilities so they can't produce materials that could be used for a nuclear weapon. So this deal actually pushes Iran further away from a bomb. In the Republicans' weekly address, Texas Congressman Jeff Henserling takes aim at what he calls the job-crushing Dodd-Frank law. It enshrined taxpayer-funded bailouts and too big to fail into law. And it imposed 400 new burdensome, job-destroying regulations upon our economy. The Coast Guard is now saying there are survivors of a small plane crash on a flight from Juneau to Huna in southeast Alaska. One person is dead, four injured, one in serious condition, one critical. Coast Guard spokesman Grant DeVoice. We have aviation personnel who are able to fly in, in these conditions. They're very well trained for that. Juno Mountain Rescue are the experts of conducting these ground searches like they did of helping get survivors to wherever our helicopters can get. The plane operated by Wings of Alaska that runs scheduled passenger services as well as sightseeing trips. This is CBS News. The Home Depot has a new lower price on exclusive Bear Ultra starting at just $29.98 a gallon. So, let's cover the walls and the budget beautifully. Bear's advanced stain blocking formula covers and blocks even the toughest stains and scuffs. That means truer colors and truer compliments that will last for years. Let's do this. Save $2 per gallon on Bear Ultra. Now at the Home Depot. More saving. More doing. U.S. only. Welcome to Staples. Hey, Staples guy. I need to promote my new business and do it on budget. I can make that happen. Can you print business cards? Staples can print business cards, brochures, banners, pens, pens, magnets, luggage tags, calendars, calendars, sticky notes, lawn signs, and window decals. What about foam fingers? What color? Red, yellow, blue. You had me at yellow. Make on budget happen, make getting noticed happen. Staples, make more happen. Now at Staples Copy and Print, we will match any competitor's quote. Plus, we have a 110% price match guarantee. Price match covers items sold by retailers operating stores and online under the same brand or sold and shipped directly by Amazon.com. Orders must be identical. Valid through 919.15. See store staples.com for details. Delaware 105.9 News Time is 8.04. Good morning. I'm John Butler from the Weather Center. Meteorologists say it's partly sunny and humid. A thunderstorm possible this afternoon, a high of 89. Roboth Beach commissioners pass an ordinance on capping the size of homes, but postponed a vote on an ordinance linking the number of toilets in a home to parking spaces. Commissioners voted 6-1 to one on a proposal that would cap the size of the homes in some areas at 6,000 square feet. And at 4,500 square feet in other areas, the ordinance also requires 50% of the lot to be lawns and trees while also increasing the rear yard setback. Stan Mills explains why he supported the ordinance. Primarily because of the preamble, I believe. And the preamble had to deal with uh, uh, trying to reduce the proliferation of uh, houses that are growing out of scale with uh, the traditional neighborhoods. And another ordinance linking the number of parking spaces to toilets in homes was postponed to be further discussed next month. An 16-year-old uh, teen rather was arrested after threatening several people with a gun and firing it at several people. Selbyville police say they were called to the area of Ellis Alley and Church Street around 5 p.m. Friday, where witnesses helped locate the suspect a short time later. The weapon was recovered and identified as a BB pellet gun. The team faces several charges, including two counts of aggravated menacing and possession of drug paraphernalia. Dover police arrest nearly a dozen people when they say were part of a violent gang. Police say 11 men and women were arrested as part of a uh, the infamous Bloods gang. 
Police say they were dealing drugs in the city's capital green neighborhood. A raid of an apartment by several police agencies Thursday allegedly turned up more than 170 grams of marijuana, 50 grams of heroin, 75 grams of PCP. Police also seized a shotgun and other weapons. You can see more details of this case online at Delaware1059.com. Delaware 1059 News Time is 806. And uh, not too bad of a day today. Partly sunny, humid. Thunderstorm, though, later this afternoon. High 89 for tonight. A thunderstorm this evening. Otherwise, partly cloudy and humid. A low 74 for Sunday. Humid with sunshine mixing with some clouds. A high of 92. Low of 76. Monday, start of the work week. Partly sunny and humid. A high of 92. It's now back to Weller Dunn's Delmarva here on Delaware 105.9. All right. We are back. Paid commercial presentation. opinions expressed. Let this Hello, hello, hello. Come back after this. Come back after this. Tell me when we're ready. Come back now. Like, let me know ahead of time so I know that we're coming back. I told you yesterday. You told me yesterday we're coming back. This is our comeback tour. Right. All right. Everybody, you're listening to Jim Weller, and that was Colin Walls, and we are live, alive. We're alive, alive. We're right in the lobby of Eagles Nest Church. We're talking about Eagle Fest. Everything is free. Nobody believes it. Um, is Pastor Bob going to be here? Pastor Bob will be here, yes. Okay. Yes. And um, what role is he going to play? Is there a dunking booth? There is not a dunking booth. Okay. Um, I, is there th- anything to do with darts? No, nothing with darts. Okay. Um, is picture. there any paintball guns? There is no paintball guns, but okay. I will say at Well, then what role is he going to play? He is going to be jumping in wherever needed. Oh, wow. Um, like now, where's if, this wherever needed at? Like, whether it's inflatable. No uh, like- Hold on. Was that another that was FCC? Pastor Bob calling was, in. That that was Something about lights. Yeah. <laughs> 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 All right, look at Amy. So he's going to handle teeth. the lighting. Did she brush her teeth this morning? <laughs> Looks like it, doesn't it? And whiten them. <laughs> and whiten white. <laughs> them. Wow. Pearly <laughs> smile. You can't even tell how heavy a smoker she is. <laughs> <laughs> I thought she only chewed tobacco. <laughs> All right, enough on that. You're not allowed to be here if you smoke. It's <laughs> a so no smoking campus. Uh, All right, anything yeah. else? Well, thanks for stopping by. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, that's well we it. were all Go Pastor on. Bob. So we're all Pastor Bob. So Pastor Bob, um, I will say at eight thirty. Okay. Just keep your eye out for Pastor Bob. I can't say what's going to happen. Okay. It's a surprise. But I know what it is. Yeah, I know you know. He's what going it to is. be that Chick Fil A cow, isn't he? <laughs> that would be good. <laughs> well, he loves Chick Fil A. He does love Chick Fil A. Okay. We all love Chick Fil A here. Really? Yes, I love Chick Fil A. Okay. All right. The only time I don't like Chick Fil A is on Sunday when I want to go there. That could be like, his <laughs> utter. That could be his utter career. <laughs> it could no. be his utter career. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this is All the right. end of the show. <laughs> Goodbye. All right. Can I move on? You can move on. Where, where am I at? Wall Service Center. Help wanted. We already did that, right? Yes. Right. We did. Kayaks. Two person kayaks. Oh, we sell these every time we get them. It's amazing. It's like I've never seen anything like it. The two person kayaks. We'll get it in like in one day. The next day it'll be going. Oh wow! So you've gotten more truckloads of them since your first truckload. Huh? Not whole truckloads. Not whole truckloads. The whole truckload. I got in a lot of trouble for because I'm really not supposed to be buying large amounts of inventory. Yes. And, uh, oh, it's unreal. They take bets. How many years is he going to have these kayaks? You know, and stuff like that. <laughs> so, in other words, um, we actually are selling all about four kayaks a day. Oh, wow. So, we do not intend to have the $150 kayaks for long. But yeah. we do have a two-person kayak for five ninety nine. I just want to say that. But we have a one-person, eight-foot kayak. Is it messing up her hair? <laughs> no, I have good. that problem. It's always pulling on it. But anyway... Um, we have a one Pulled person, right eight foot long. <laughs> right now, <laughs> anyway, a one person, eight foot long kayak with a paddle. Okay, for 150 bucks. Those are the ones we're selling about four a day, oh, wow. twenty some a week. We like it. All right. Store opens at nine. That would be my store, Weller's Utility Trailers, in route or on Route 13 in Bridgeville. Oh, let's talk about no nonsense office machines. Yeah, that's a good idea. Let's do that. Okay. He's always looking to buy laptops. I was thinking, my goodness, who buys laptops? But he made a good point. A lot of people out of school, out of college, not really needing their laptop or not wanting it, and or maybe they want to buy a new one, and he buys them. Just literally buys them. So if you have a laptop you want to sell, uh, this is no 
no-nonsense office machines. My good friend Rick Fowler, he'll take good care of you. But he also sells laptops, and he sells tablets, and he sells computers, and he sells fax machines, and he sells printers and gaming systems. Anything pretty much electronic, especially around the office supply department, he's really good. Now, he also sells and services copiers, but anything he sells, he services. And anything he sells used has been serviced. So if you have a laptop or a, a computer that's just not running just right or you've got it and you just want it to work better or faster or more efficiently, he can help you with that. If you have an office and you need a new computer and you don't want it full of a bunch of junk, like when you buy them online or buy them at a big box store, they got all this stuff in there you didn't ask for, and all that ultimately does is slow things down. If you want a very efficient computer with what you want in it and no more, no less, he can help you build a computer system. He can help you network them together. He can make them all print to your copier if you want. That's kind of neat. He sells copiers. He services them. He takes care of everything for us, and a real good company to deal with. I personally have dealt with them for 25, maybe. 30 years. It's been a while. We were both teenagers when we just got rolling. But Rick Fowler's his name. No Nonsense Office Machines is the place. It's located in Georgetown there, just two miles east of the circle on Route 9, right next to Sports at the Beach Complex. Phone number is 856-7381. 856 7381 No Nonsense Office Machines. Um... I do want to wish a happy birthday to somebody so I don't forget. This is a good friend of mine, Mary Ann Timmons. Mary Ann, if you're listening, I just wanted to say happy birthday. And if you would like to come to Eagles Fest, I'll slide down the slide with you, okay? So, anyway. and, she, and she can come for free because it's and her birthday. she can come for free because it's your birthday, Mary Ann. So anyway, Mary Ann, if you're listening... Uh, I hope you have a blessed day and happy birthday to you, okay? Um, other than that, we got a lot going on at Weller's. We've had a really good year. I've mentioned it more than once. I want to say thank you to the many customers we have and the people that have done business with us. And uh, we try hard to do a good job. We do have a help-wanted position also. We're looking for an extra pair of hands. Now, we're not looking for a person with four hands. That's not what... Because, you know, we had some people come in. They're like, you know, I don't know anybody with an extra There's pair of hands. There's four hands there right? for you. <laughs> I'm talking about a person that could... Could help us around the shop, answer the phone if it needed. Uh, maybe they would be mechanically inclined, so if we needed something done to a trailer, they could do it. When a person buys a trailer, maybe you could go get it with the tractor, bring it over, help hook it up to their vehicle. Maybe if somebody's off for a day, you could work in the showroom, answering the phone, greeting customers. Maybe if the floor needed mopping or the windows needed cleaning, you could do that. Maybe if we needed you to go to Greenwood and pick up some Greenwood barbecue chicken, you could actually do that and bring it back to the store. Last person we sent picked up the chicken, but never brought it back to the store, okay? Because we didn't give it the rest of the instructions. In other <laughs> words, we want you to go get the chicken and bring it back to the store. So anyway, we're just looking for an extra pair of hands, somebody to help us in all aspects of everything going on at Weller's. Like one day we need some help in the shop. The next day we need some help in the showroom. The next day the floor needs mopping. The next day, who knows what, we need somebody to go to the motor vehicle and drop something off or so pick something up. you need a jack of all trades kind of thing um yeah a jack of all trades was yeah. kind of what we need and yeah. we just but you know it's a lot of physical things and um you know might you know the weeds might be out of control or we might um, oh, you're just selling this job more yeah. and more aren't yeah. you <laughs> weeds mopping you floor, say washing the glass d, I should have. d all of the above job <laughs> what's that mean d, d all of the above okay <laughs> well anyway we need some help is what we're saying we need some help uh did this, they get to pump the septic or anything like that if you need it, or no, it we'll leave that out okay, okay. They can dig it up, though, for the guy to pump the septic, all right? But anyway, no, none of that. My goodness, Colin, that's too much like work. All right. Sherry, did you have anything else to say? <laughs> um, let's see. We were on watermelon eating contest. Okay, now... Um, this is an activity stage. Do you activity have to be licensed or anything to enter this? Like, you said you were looking for, what, 22 people? We're looking for 10 people. Ten five people. adults, five kids. Okay. Five adults, five kids. All right. Um, and five and fives, be, ten? Yes. Five okay. and fives, ten. All right. So you're looking for ten people yes. to enter a watermelon eating contest. Yes. Okay. Is yes. there any height, weight, age requirements? No. Do they have no. to have any... 
thing, a certain amount on their W-2? Does it matter? No, it doesn't matter. Just okay. 630, show up and say, where is your hand? <laughs> okay, and that's it. <laughs> and that's so it. That's, that's the requirement. They don't have to fog a mirror or nothing no, like that. No, okay. and we have great prizes. So, great prizes. Yes, great prizes for the winner. Okay. Um, and then at 7 o'clock. I think Brooks and Brandon intend to win are they gonna? Are they going to win it? Yeah. You think? It's going to be like a tag team. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. They're like twins. When you see yeah. them together, you'll see what I'm saying. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> um, Pastor Mike okay. is going to be on the mic. Pastor Mike oh, on really? the mic at 7 o'clock. Okay. Yes. Um, and then for everybody, if, if you're, you know, you have a lot of energy. Zumba. Zumba is I did Zumba. With, with Heather Who York. would I have done that with? No, I went to New York. I don't know if it was, is it Paula, not Paula Dean, Martha Stewart. You did Zumba with Martha Stewart? Oh, yeah. I got this thing you shake. Uh-huh. And, yeah, the whole audience did Zumba. Look at you. Oh, oh Martha you should have seen me. Man. They never saw nothing like it. Uh, I bet they hadn't. Probably haven't seen anything like it since. <laughs> they had to stop me. <laughs> you should invite First to experience I had with an AED. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> it made for a good show, I'll say that. You should invite Martha you to You thought the Zumba. comedian was funny at first until I showed up. All right, Zumba. Yes, Zumba. I'm well-versed in Zumba. Okay, good. So we'll see you out there at 730? You will see me somewhere at 730. Okay. <laughs> and then 8 o'clock, we're going to have a dance party. Are we really? Yeah. Like, so, you know, when you go to a wedding, I love to go dance with my kids. Okay. And, I, and weddings, really, they don't invite kids too much anymore. Really? So, because it's too expensive. Well, don't you have to be 18 to get a marriage certificate? Yes. I'm okay. talking about was we go as a family. Oh, I thought And you... we like to dance. So, this is going to be like a family dance party at really, 8 o'clock. Really? Somebody's getting a message. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Go ahead. At 8 o'clock, we're going to do a family dance party. We're going to do the different, like, Cupid Shuffle and the different really? line dances. And, yeah. So, but it's kid-friendly. I want to do the limbo. Are you going to do the limbo? Uh, we talked about I used to do that at the, the limbo, roller skating yes. rink all the we time. We are doing limbo. So, I will make sure I get photography of you doing I limbo. I would. Okay. All right. Cool. And you can either sell the, the pictures or I'll pay you not to print them. All right. How about <laughs> we go with the them. second? Yeah. I'll go with the second <laughs> okay. one. Okay. All right. <laughs> and, oh, my and, gosh. And then, yeah. And then 9 o'clock. You're really going to accomplish start. all this today? Yes. I'm going to check it off as I go. Yes. Absolutely. No yeah. And every half an hour prizes. So lots of prizes. No kidding. Mm -hmm. All right. Is that it? I think, well, I mean, there's tons of stuff all day. I could keep going. Could you really? I could. Well, I could we're not going to let you. I know. I'm going to do another commercial. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. I think that these ladies, I said I'll give you about four or five minutes to talk mm -hmm. and so yeah. on. Yeah, it's been, what, seven? So it's been seven, a typical yeah. female thing here. Uh -huh. Me and Colin thought we were running the show. <laughs> <laughs> All right, hold on. Can I do a commercial now? You, uh, yes, I'll All allow right, it. This it's is okay. my, you'll allow it? <laughs> okay, you're going to ordain it. All right, this is my accountant, George Luff, Luff & Associates in Milford. They also have an office in Dover and one in Rehoboth. Rehoboth, Milford, Dover. Now, the nice thing is one phone call will get you to all of those places. But anyway, George Luff's been our accountant for years, does a good job. On top of that, he wants me to promote that he does payroll. My daughter loves them doing our payroll because this is no joke. When we used to go on vacation and Jenny and Jason would go with us, Jenny would have to bring a printer and print these paychecks mm -hmm. and overnight them back to everybody, and it was unreal. So we started dealing with George Luff, and it's called Easy Payroll, and they charge by pay cycle. So we got smart and said, hey, instead of paying everybody every week, since we're paying by pay cycle, we decided to pay everybody once a quarter. No, we pay them every other week. <laughs> Four times a year. Now, in other words, anyway, we pay every other week now. So it kind of helped us a little bit because you only have to pay per pay cycle. So anyway, if you have one to five employees, say you're a small business and you just don't want to take any chances with all the new rules and regulations and everything changing, you can just pay them as little as $25 per pay cycle for one to five people. But let's say you have 25 to 50 people. It's only $64 a pay cycle. And if you got got 100 people, people, it's only $74. That's less than a dollar a person for them to handle your payroll things. So whether you want them to do your W-2s, 3s, W-4s, I-9s, direct deposit, payroll checks, your 940s, your 941s, whatever you want them to do, to whatever degree, however much, however little, they can accommodate you, they can help you in any way, shape, or form on the web. It's Luff, 
L-U-F-F-C-P-A's.com. And on the telephone, it's 422-9699. 422-9699. Okay? And uh, tell them I sent you, if you would. I did say happy birthday already to Mary Ann Timmons, but I'll say it one more time. Happy birthday, Mary Ann. I hope you have a wonderful day. Wellers is going to be open at 9. Walls is going to be open at 8. 8 o'clock. 8 o'clock. Yep. And uh, they're open now. That's right. So give Josh a call just to make sure the phones are working, right? Yeah, well, I would you too? I wouldn't give him a call. I would stop in. Just stop in? Ask him to check the air in the tires, including <laughs> the spare that's mounted way up underneath. So, and it's really, really important that I know how much air is in that. <laughs> that's true, right. Because if you have an old Volkswagen, that's what operates your windshield washer fluid, right? <laughs> <It's> okay. <laughs> Did you know that? No. No, I'm not kidding you, okay? Um, no, okay. An old, old, old Volkswagen, like right. a Volkswagen bug. Mm -hmm. um, the tire and wheel is up in the front, mm -hmm. and there's a little thing hooked to the valve stem that that's what pressurizes the thing that pumps your washer fluid for your windshield. I had no idea. No lie. And I know that because I used to have a tire business, mm -hmm. and I, it really stuck with me, okay? It's very odd. Yeah, it is very odd, but it's that uh, German engineering, in other words. So anyway, if you have a Volkswagen, it's important to check the air in your spare. Okay, a bit of trivia that really didn't matter here today, but I got it out there anyway. Show number 100 is coming up August 1st. We're going to do that at Community Bank, and we are excited. We're looking for ideas, so if you have any ideas of what we should do, you know, maybe we should... um. I have no idea what to do. Maybe we should just like throw hundred dollar bills out the window at the second floor. Or, or how about a hundred ones? Hundred ones. Hundred ones. <laughs> Not hundred dollar bills. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. So anyway, um, anything else, Colin? Do you got anything you want to talk about? Well, yeah. I just want to say thank you to uh, the Bay Health staff okay. in the ER this morning. They took care of Nicholas, my son. Oh my goodness. Next to the youngest son. What time was that? Uh, it was seven o'clock, right when we went on the air. I got a oh, message my. from. Jen, my wife, but uh, Will, the youngest, threw a tractor at him. Okay. Not a real one, a okay. toy one, but a metal <laughs> okay. one, and put a big gash in the back of his head. So they oh, took care of him. really? So, yeah. Stitches? Yeah, no stitches. No. Oh, they glued good. it together. Oh, whatever. Yes. Whatever oh, that super glue stings. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Is everybody okay? Is Jen Everybody's okay? okay. Yep. Everybody Is Jen okay? okay? Yep. All right. And you're down here. Yep. Talking about Eagle Fest and drinking coffee. <laughs> <laughs> Stay calm. <laughs> All right. All right. Well, anyway, um, Sherry Yerkes, anything else? We're going to give you the last 28 minutes. Oh, goodness. No. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm, I'm just going to say as a member of Eagle's Nest and as a person who's involved in this, I am pleased that you and all of your team spearheaded this, thought of it, got involved in it, took up the challenge, uh, fought off the naysayers. Yes. It's, and been, it's been a really strong team, and they've really yeah, all worked together. Because there's always the people... That might say, you guys are crazy. Yes. Who would do this? I mean, what I get more than anything is, is why w people that don't understand the heart of a church mm -hmm. do not understand why a church would do anything other than have, a, have church and take an offering. Yeah. Because no. that is the perception of a church. Right, right. Yeah, and words, I've gotten, and, oh, you guys are going to make lots of money. I'm like, no, no, oh, it's, no, we're not yeah. charging anything. <laughs> we're not making any money. It's all free. Everything's right. free. So I really want to emphasize this. Eagle's Nest is a, is a large presence, presence here in the community. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we have a lot of people that work here. And we have a lot of people that attend here. And um, we have a lot of people that have supported the church over the years. And this is just as our opportunity to reach out into the community and say, hey, whether you go to this church, any church, um, no church, whether you've been here or not been here, here yeah. um we're just saying hey come on out ride the ponies yeah, have a family have fun a family day. fun day relax just you yeah. know turn your cell phone off and enjoy yourself yes is that right yes absolutely okay. starting at three o'clock today starting three o'clock go until nine o'clock tonight fireworks start fireworks start and again once fireworks start you guys have to sit back and enjoy. Correct. Right. And um Well I think we should announce that before yeah, the fireworks. We, yeah we definitely and will. make everybody you know, turn their car keys in or yeah. something. <laughs> you know, because there's always going to be that one that there says, is. I've got you, to leave now. Yeah. I can't yeah. take it any longer, yeah. in other words. Yeah. And I um, just want to thank all our volunteers that well, and jumped in. Um, we have uh, like 250 volunteers, and I would say the majority. How many volunteers do you have? 250. Okay. <laughs> I would say 250 volunteers, the majority of them have never volunteered before. 
Wow. So we have a lot of new volunteers that we're really brand excited. New for them. Yes. We're breaking them in. We're breaking them in with the Eagle Fist. Just something small. <laughs> just something small. <laughs> just a few thousand just people. Just a few thousand people. Huh. But, um, I mean, we did like two, two and a half hour shifts. So it was, okay. a, you know, it was a small commitment for them to try, get their feet wet in volunteering. Okay. And they just, everybody jumped in. So yeah. very excited. This very whole excited. event has been encouraging. Mm -hmm. In other words, it's, I, I feel it's like the people that are volunteering are saying, hey, I want to, I want to, I want to do yeah. this. In other words, and the people, some people, you know, physically can't volunteer. Right. They've brought in waters, and and people that are volunteering brought in snacks, waters, prizes. Mm -hmm. I mean, the outpouring of, of golf carts, people bringing in golf carts and gators for us to use, and mules, uh, uh, mule, mules, yeah. Um, Other animals, there's a brand horses. new one in the back. There's one in the lobby here behind right. us. Right. Um, and uh, we have like snack bags for all our volunteers. Everything was donated. Okay. So and um, the outpouring and and those um, are some really nice bags too. They are really nice bags donated. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> donated. They have by real them. high high quality strings on them. They do. They're like mm -hmm. little mini backpacks. Right there you go. <clears throat> so anyway, um, it's going to be a big day, isn't it? It is. It is. We're excited. You guys do need to. Take Take some before and after pictures, so you see how you look before. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know that. I want to see what I'm going to look like at ten o'clock tonight. Oh yeah. my! Make a collage out of it. I looked rough yesterday, so I don't know what I'm going to look like today. Yeah. You said it first. I did. <laughs> I wasn't going to go there. There's no picture evidence of it huh? from yesterday. Okay. There's no. All right. Anyway, I would like to make one suggestion. I see this mule in the lobby here. Yes. I want you guys to I open the doors next time before you drive it in. <laughs> I would, I would probably stop mentioning it. Does the, does the church's insurance company listen to this show? Oh, I don't know. Oh. I, I would stop. Well, a vehicle it. with gasoline in it inside, inside the lobby. What's wrong with I that? I can't see anything. I think there's sprinklers. <laughs> I think we were nervous because it was a brand new mule and it's not oh. ours. So we didn't want to leave. I it. would be a little nervous. Yeah, Who we is didn't. feeding this mule overnight? Yeah. Right. Keep it More going. importantly, the byproduct of feeding a mule. Right. Who's dealing with that? She has no idea what I'm talking about. I think she's just ignoring you. I'm ignoring you, yes. Uh, politely. Yeah. Very politely. Nicely. With a smile. A smile and that blank stare like she just immediately went blind or something. All right. Well, we're having a good time. If you have missed any of this show, um, you've missed something. So go to Weller does delmarva dot com and you can watch this show or our other shows and all the bloopers are in there and everything else so um we've had a good time here today i'm excited this is going to be an epic day it is when this day is over we're going to look back and say wow why did we even do such a thing <laughs> well we're taking one month off and we're starting september planning for next year no kidding yeah <laughs> so so we get a month off all right well that's good yeah because this is probably a year's worth of planning yeah yeah well wow. so well we good well, I'm excited to be involved in it. I'm excited that you're doing it. I think it's going to be a wonderful day for the community. It's going to be a wonderful day for Eagle's Nest and all the people that come out and have a good time. Going to get to make some new friends, maybe reacquaint with old friends, and just kind of say, hey. Yeah. This excited. is not a bad day. No, yeah. Free day. Free day. And nothing would make it better other than... Buying a couple kayaks for 150 bucks a piece, okay? <laughs> Cherry on the top. I just, just got yeah. mine yesterday. Picked yes, you did. Up. I did. Yep, I'm excited. Have you used them yet? I have not. I haven't even taken okay. them out of the plastic. Out of the bag? Uh. <laughs> they come in a big bag. Not a box, but all kayaks come in bags, it seems like. So anyway, um, and you have to put the paddle together, okay? Mm -hmm. Right. Um, it's not don't two separate ones. Yes. You don't hold one in each hand. You clip <laughs> them together in the center, okay? And I think You do it the way you want, I'll do it the way I want. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, and uh, you need to get a whistle, and it wouldn't hurt to have um, a life jacket. That's probably a good idea. And probably it could be even be a, a requirement. Idea. Could even be a requirement. I think it I do be. know you don't have to license them, insure them, register them, nothing mm -hmm. like that, man. I mean, you could just get a kayak at Weller's and go. But I think you do have to have a whistle, and you do have to have a life vest. Do you really? That's that's what well, I'm, we, we I'm sell pretty them, sure. So. Right. All right, well, we're not going to strong arm you into it. They okay. didn't even bring it up to you, did they? They didn't. 
All right. Uh. <laughs> they were just trying to figure out the Colin really sales pay meeting Monday what? morning. Yeah, mention life jackets. Mention the whistles. At so least anyway. tell people we have them. Right. They don't have to buy them, but um, we do have them there. So anyway, it's Weller's Utility Trailers. Weller's dot com on the web. Three three seven eight two two eight. We're right there on Route thirteen in Bridgeville City, Delaware, and we open today at nine o'clock. We're going to take a quick break. We'll be right back with more of all the headlines happening at Eagle's Nest. We'll be right back. On a family vacation, does luxury really matter? At Beaches Resorts, we think it does. Like the luxury of spending time together on the Caribbean's best beaches. The luxury of freedom, doing whatever you want, because it's all included, all unlimited, all the time. From scuba diving and water parks to dining at up to 19 restaurants, Beaches is the vacation you'll talk about for the rest of your lives. Book the best all-inclusive resorts on the planet with the best agency. Hi, Cindy McCabe, owner of Bethany Travel. Bethany Travel has again been named the best of the best agency with sandals and beaches. And we're a top agency of Sandals and Beaches in the tri-state area. I'm also a destination wedding and honeymoon specialist for Sandals and Beaches and a member of the Chairman's World Club, which is an elite group of top-selling agents. Visit Bethany Travel online at dreamvacationinc.com or call us at 800-806-TRIP to book your all-inclusive Beaches family vacation today. Bethany Travel, 800-806-TRIP or online at dreamvacationinc.com. CBS News updates, a fifth victim in the Chattanooga shootings has died. Confirmation a few minutes ago by a family member, the 26-year-old Navy Specialist Randall Smith, hit three times by gunfire on Thursday. A vigil for victims last night, Tennessee Governor Bill Haslam. My prayer is that we would be Chattanooga strong. We would be a city that answers hate with love. We would be a city that seeks to plant gardens and marry our children and seek the prosperity and peace of the place to which we're from. Tennessee Senator Bob Corker. We celebrate the fact that we have people like our Marines, like our Navy, like the FBI, like the Sheriff's Department. A Tennessee cop is hospitalized. CBS's Jerika Duncan. The injured officer has been named by the Chattanooga Police's Dennis Cadigo, a 17-year veteran. Uh, he is doing well in his family, thanking the community for their support. CBS News Update. I'm Gary Nunn. Your pet's your best friend, so treat them right. Concord Pet Foods and Supplies. It's hot, and that means trips to the beach for everyone. Taking the pets along? Don't feel like packing a whole lot of pet food? Stop by one of Concord Pet's many convenient locations on the way to the beach and just pick something up while you're on the road. They're so easy to get to. If you're headed down from the north, try the Smyrna location at Simon's Corner Shopping Center, the Dover Store at the intersections of Routes 8 and 13 in the Edge Hill Shopping Center, Milford at Milford Crossing. Then there's the Rehoboth Store on Route 1 at the Marketplace, the Long Neck Store on Route 24, and Concord Pet Seaford Store in the Seaford Common Shopping Center. Headed to the Jersey Shore? Check out the Logan Township Store in the Village Center. It's so easy to get to. Pets love to have fun at the beach. Take them along, and on your way, stop by Concord Pet Food and Supplies. With 28 great locations between Princeton and Seaford, there's bound to be one when you're heading to the beach. Foods and supplies for everything your pet needs. For the best in service and fair price, Wyoming will work. Combine craft made cabinetry, Wyoming millwork, and your signature style. Beautiful things happen. Let the elegant finishes and high end hardware of our remarkable cabinetry transform your space. See how craft made and Wyoming millwork can create the inspired space you've always imagined. Visit them at their location in Camden or Milton or check them out online at www.wyomingmillwork.com. Craft made cabinetry at Wyoming millwork in Camden or Milton. Hi, it's me, Jared Morris, and I invite you to come cruise with me on the Carnival Drive. 
seven-day Eastern Caribbean cruise. Don't miss the boat. The next cruise begins April 3rd, 2016, but now's the time to reserve your cabin on board the Carnival Pride out of Baltimore with stops in Grand Turk, Half Moon Cay, and Freeport in the Bahamas. And you can cruise with us for as little as $807.66 per person for double occupancy. Plus, each cabin receives an open bar cocktail party and a $25 onboard credit. If you're interested, if you're just thinking about it, reserve your cabin today for just $50 by contacting Cindy at Bethany Travel Dream Vacations. Call them at 302-933-0955 or go to their website, www.dreamvacationinc.com. Now, when you call, tell them you want to cruise with Delaware 1059. Call Bethany Travel Dream Vacations at 302-933-0955. Now, everything that has to do with paving and milling is available to see at a storefront. Asphalt Paving Equipment and Supplies is now open at Route 9, 26822 Lewis Georgetown Highway. They have everything you need to get the job done. Big or small equipment, for sale or rent, all materials, and all the hand tools needed for the paving and milling industry. Asphalt Paving Equipment and Supplies is an equipment dealer that only sells the best tools and machinery. From Alice Copco Dynapack to Husqvarna, they know what you need and can even deliver to your work site. Hi, this is Andy Pennington, General Manager of Asphalt Paving Equipment and Supplies. We have over 60 years' experience in the paving and milling industry. If you are a paving or milling contractor, visit us on Route 9 at 26822 Lewis Georgetown Highway in Harvest. If we don't have it, you don't need it. Asphalt Paving Equipment and Supplies. For directions and info, call 302-664-1552 or go to asphaltpavingequipmentsupplies.com. The following program is a paid commercial presentation. The comments, views, and opinions expressed do not necessarily reflect the views of the staff, management, or advertisers of Delaware. <coughs> Tell me when we're ready. Okay. Ready? No. Okay. Go anyway, though. All right, everybody. This is the final half hour. Some people are excited. Some people are sad. Some people are relieved. Final... Some people are <laughs> relieved. Um, anyway, um, this is Jim Weller. Uh, that was Colin Walls. We're live sitting in the lobby of Eagle's Nest Church in Milton, Delaware. Big day, big day, big day. It's a beautiful day out for one. And um, we're praying that there's no rain and that it's just a wonderful day here. We have got a big event going on called Eagle Fest. A lot of people have heard of it. We've talked about it for months. Hundreds of volunteers involved. Uh, many um, people have helped under write the cost of this and um, it's going to be one of the biggest community events we've ever been involved in yeah. and um, Amy Brown is with me Leslie Reese Sherry Yerkes along with a whole mirage of people merit uh, whatever the words are a lot of people a have lot. been involved in this and um, it's just been unreal and it's just exciting and um, my biggest thing that I get from everybody is this uh, doesn't make any sense to me why a church what an odd thing that people when they think of a church they don't think of a church doing anything in the community what a what an odd concept now that would be somebody not involved in the church just saying why in the world would a church do this so um, Eagle Fest is about to happen it starts at 3 today you gals are here uh, you got your whole team coming in what time is everybody coming 2 3 o'clock about two, now? Two o'clock. They're here oh, now. we have some here. Yeah, we okay. have some here already. The mule is out. The fire marshal has spoken. <laughs> Get that thing out of here. <laughs> it's diesel. Diesel burns slower than gas. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. So what is the next thing you guys want to touch on? Um, just come out. Well, you were talking family. about popovers a second ago? Oh, uh, no, no. We, uh, well, we have. That was I'm, our behind-the-scenes plan. I'm, I'm, I'm working on my to-do list. To-do list? Yeah. Oh, okay. You're actually going to to do today? Yeah. To do today? It's a special day. Come out and see. You need to do. <laughs> okay. All right. Ta-da. Ta-da. All right. Watch to do turn into what? da. That should be our that should be our slogan. There you yeah. go. Watch to do turn into ta-da. Ta-da. Yeah. Here we go. Yeah. All right. We're losing people. All right. All right. <laughs> yeah, you're losing the crowd. Our meter is just going right down. Oh, no. Somebody's right. trademarking that as we speak. They stopped mm. listening so they could go trademark that. Right. And get the website and <laughs> the Facebook. Facebook page and everything that goes along with it. Colin, what are you doing today? I'm coming to Eagle Fest. Are you really? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Of course. 
All right. With a and, um, child with blood in his hair. <laughs> we'll see, At least we'll he see has how, hair. We'll see how this glue holds up that they right. put on him instead of yeah. stitches. Because they'll be all over the place today. Right. Right. You can put them on the swings and make sure it's dry off. Okay. Yeah. yeah. You there around. you go. That's how I dry my hair. Get on the swing. <laughs> yeah, we saw you drying your hair last night. I got on a swing last night. Well, I have a grandson named Brody. And um, he. every time I was riding all around here with him, and he kept saying something about the red playground. The red playground. And I finally figured out what he meant. He knows it from, I guess, Sunday school or whatever. The playground here is the red playground. And so we went over there, and he was wanting to show me he could swing, and he really can. And um, then I, I've been on a swing in years. And, man, for some reason, when I sat in that thing and sat down, it just scrunched right up on me. I don't know if it's the weight or the, the seat, but anyway, it was pretty good. And then, this is no lie, he picked up the iPad and was taking pictures of it. He, he was. I yeah, was like, so cool. wow, okay. that is so neat. You know, I mean, so, how old is he? He's I think four. Two, I think. Yeah, four. four. Won't he be four in October? <laughs> well, he'll be four when he gets four, but I don't think he's anywhere near four. Yeah, he's two or three or four. I think he's three. He's I think three. Okay, he's three. I think he's three. Yes. Okay, because Will is about he's the same, same age. age. Well, yeah. Nicholas. Yeah, anyway. but uh, watching a three-year-old I, pick up an iPad. I have to apologize. Pictures. That was yeah. good. I have to apologize. Low numbers don't usually excite me. <laughs> Just okay. think of it as a tag number. Oh, tag number three. There okay, go. there we go. All right. Would you so, love to have that? I would love to have that. I'd be happy with uh, ten or down. <laughs> All right. Anyway, so um, Colin's coming to Eagle Fest. Amy, do you have any last things you want to say? To no, I just I just want to encourage everybody. We've been having a great time. If if you missed some of the schedule or want some of the details, it's at eaglesnest.ch okay. or like us on Facebook. We love when people like us on Facebook, and we're Eagle Fest D E. Okay. F E E F E A S T. No, no, that's Eagle Feast. That's a different one. <laughs> oh, I hope nobody oh. eats eagles. No, I was oh. thinking how upset would vegans be about that? Yeah. That, there would have to be a video released about that. Okay, so it's Eagle F E S T. F E S T D E. Okay. Yeah. D E. Yes. All right. Anything else? Uh, come. <laughs> Go Eagle Fest. Go. All right, Leslie, what about you? Uh, just come on out. Just come join us uh, starting at 3 o'clock. We go on until uh, 9, 9.15. We'll start fireworks. There's something for everybody. You can come and go. You don't have to be available the whole day. Just come, do some rides, enjoy some lunch, and head out to your next activity if that's all the time you got for us. But just come see us. Okay. And what about you, Sherry? I would say come. Enjoy the free day if you can't afford. I, some people say I might not make it for the twenty five hundred me free meals. Okay. We do have vendors here, but then there's some people saying I have no money. Okay. You can bring a cooler and oh, bring. You can, you can okay. pay, bring your own lunch. I mean, it doesn't. We have vendors here, but if you okay. still can't afford that, we just want families to come out and enjoy the day. Right. So, so you can even eat at home and just come and yeah. have fun with all our stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right, so you don't have to bring a dime with you. You don't have to. It's a completely free day for you. Excellent. Yeah. All right, so folks, I'm really encouraging you to the uh, Facebook page. Just look on Facebook, Eagle Fest. Eagle Fest. And D-E. Um, D -E. And then you can also go to eaglesnest.ch, mm -hmm. and there's a lot of info there. Yep, there's a link there. It takes you to every, every activity okay. of the day. All right, I'm going to thank you three. Plus all the people that have helped, because I'm quite proud of all of you. I think you've done a great job. When I first thought about it, I just thought everybody had lost their mind. But in all reality, this is big. And it's going to be such a nice blessing to the community. In other words, you know, that's what's nice about it. So I appreciate all the leadership at Eagle's Nest for, you know, allowing it to happen. And um, I appreciate all the sponsors for sponsoring it. And there's many people that have worked behind the scenes. If they did no more than just carry these cases of water in here, you know, everybody has played a role. And the exciting thing is they've been glad to and willing to. And that's been kind of encouraging. Yeah. So, all right. I'm going to move on if it's okay. Yeah, it's all thank right. you, for, all right. thank you yep. for having us. Yeah. You can stay. You don't have to leave or anything. But I'm going to just ignore you for We're a little bit. We're just turning your mics down. That's all. We're just turning yeah. your mics down. <laughs> I want to talk about Wilson's auction. My good friend Dave Wilson, um, he has a multi-estate auction coming up. But there was another auction that I saw coming up that I can't find it right now on his website. Um... But there is an auction today. Is that a picture Wilson's. of Dave right there? That's Dave. The cowboy hat. I'm not sure yeah. what it is. Now, that's Wade Wilson there. So if you go to okay. the website, wilsonsauction.com, um, you can see Wade Wilson's hey. picture and Dave Wilson's picture. And they do a good job, whether it's uh, 
real estate. I've bought numerous pieces of real estate at a Wilson's auction. You know what I've always sold is neat. What? Dave Wilson is also a state representative for the area. He keeps that pretty low-key, though, doesn't he? Yeah, but... Where else but in Sussex County, Delaware, can you go see your state representative on a Saturday morning standing on an old wagon yeah, auctioning stuff. off yep. different things? Yeah. Yep. He's a really good guy, good, honest, local businessman, family man. And um, I've known him for a long time. He actually, I think, is celebrating his 41st year. You know, 41st birthday? 41st birthday. Yes. <laughs> but um, he started um, in Lincoln at the Lincoln Community mm-hmm. Center and then built that place out on the highway. And it's been there for, I think, 40 years. We just did a show there. Wow. Yeah, so he's actually been in business longer than 40 right. years. But one thing, um, he sells... Anything you want to sell, so if you have some property you want to sell or an estate you want to settle, or if you just want to take a pickup load of stuff and clean out your garage or your closet and take it down there, you just leave it and they'll turn it into cash for you. Um, also, they have an auto auction on Tuesday nights if you want to sell a car or buy a car. Um, he also does uh, sell a lot of tags. A neat thing about their website, if you go to wilsonsauction.com, down at the bottom it says Delaware Tag Prices, and you can click on that and see what tags have sold for, so it's not... Uh, spot where tags are for sale, it tells you what tags sold for. So you might see a tag on there and say, I know who's got that tag, and I know what they paid for it. So that's kind of interesting. Um, so the Wilson's Auction does a lot of things, So, um, but they have a lot of auctions. They actually have one every Saturday right there on Route 113 in Lincoln. The phone number is 422-3454, 422-3454, and on the web, it's wilsonsauction.com. So anyway, that's that. Uh, Colin is open today, Wall Service Center in Milford, right. Delaware. And um, one thing about Colin's business is it's the it's got the nicest restaurants and things to do around it. I mean, it, if you're a wife with two or three kids and you need an oil change, you can go downtown. You can bring your own lunch and have a little picnic lunch under. The, is it called a pavilion? Or? Yep, there's a pavilion there. Okay. Yep, yep. and there's plenty of benches in the park and throughout the park system, the the river right. walk. And but if you don't have kids and you want to just take a walk, you can walk across the bridge. If you don't have kids and you want kids, there's probably some there that you could claim at least. Right, or you could at least play with or whatever, you know, or entertain. But um, it's just a real nice, um, you got your business right there in a Mm -hmm. really nice area. I feel you're very fortunate. You know what else you could do? What's that? You can bring your dog. We have a dog park over there. Right, over the bridge and down the trail. Yeah, over the bridge and down the trail, right. Okay. It sounds like a fairy tale. <laughs> right. <laughs> Next, I'll be using the words Goat Island. <laughs> <laughs> right. So, yeah, it's right before the entrance to Goat Island. Okay. They have a small dog and a large dog. And okay. And what it is is just a large, fenced-off area. So, if by chance, you, you could take your dog off the leash. Yeah, you can take your let dog off the leash. Let it run a little bit. Yeah. yeah, so, I mean, some people don't have property where they can just let their dog go. I know. Some people still do anyway. But. And some people just want to let their dog go. <laughs> so anyway, well, good. But yeah, yeah, come downtown, check it out. Even if you just stop in to say hi to us. Just say, hey, I heard you on the radio. How you doing? And we're going to go walk. I have heard you advertise that if somebody needs their air pressure checked in their tires, that you do that. Right, we do. That is so old school. Mm-hmm. It's really nice. And because now, gas stations used to do that. Right. And we'll, you know, sometimes we'll kid you that if if Josh tells you that it's like a dollar a pound for air, right? After he's already put the air in, don't get scared. He's just kidding with you. Okay, because um, well, Josh doesn't weigh that much anyway, right? <laughs> no. Oh, it's a dollar a pound of air pressure, right? Yeah, but it's really no charge at all, right? Okay, so anyway, you know, a person literally, if they feel their car is not handling right, or mm-hmm. if they haven't checked, because in the summertime your tires build up air pressure, so you literally sometimes need to let a little air out. Right. Sometimes a nail in your tire is good, so it doesn't build up too much air. <laughs> yeah, no, it's not. It's, it's never good. Yeah, it's never good. You know, unless you're in the tire business, but right. you're not in the tire. We're business. not in the tire business, but we will check the air in them, and we can okay. recommend a good tire place for you to go to. Now we've had a lot of rainy days lately, and I'm sure you have people come in and say my wipers right. aren't working just mm-hmm. right. Yep. Man, I went one time and i tried to buy wipers and i went to a store to buy mm-hmm. it. man it, it is almost intimidating to buy a set of wiper blades <laughs> it, it really is because there's so many different oh kinds, my so many gosh. different connections so many and different i need sizes. to know how many inches this is and right. that it is and do i want the little wiper or do i want the whole thing and how would i t- 
I'm under the impression that you can literally drive in your business mm-hmm. while it's open, of course. It works better when you're open. Right. And um, they can stop what they're doing and change the wiper yeah, blades. It's usually a matter of minutes. We carry most wiper blades right there in stock. Okay. Occasionally, we'll run across an odd one that we'll have to order. But uh, About how much they, is a wiper blade? Just uh, usually for a set of wiper blades, about 20 bucks installed. Installed. Yep. And you're on your way in minutes. No kidding. Yeah. All right. So, you know, these are just little things that you don't really think of. You're getting ready to go through inspection. You want to make sure your turn signals work or Mm -hmm. your brake lights work or whatever. You could just stop in because it's hard to check your own brake light. Well, yeah, that's what I found, that you've got to be really fast to hit your brakes and then hurry up and run around before they go out. Right. You can get them turn signals and the four-way flashers done, but (laughs) your high beams, but them brake lights are hard to check on your own. So all that is a service you can get at Wall Service Center right downtown Milford. Uh, Now, you're right across the street from Abbott's Grill. You're right, right next to um, arenas. arenas. Right. And then and you got Georgia House. Oh, just two down blocks a couple over. blocks over, yeah. In the downtown. What's that? Dolce? Dolce yeah, yep. coffee shop, and they have pastries. And, okay. Um, there's nice little shops. There's uh, uh, the candy store down sta- downtown. Okay. Uh, the kombucha store. What about that? That's, oh, that's uh, right. The good news, good yeah. news, uh, health food store, yep. right? Yep. Me and Denise yep. went there the other day. Yep. Yeah. Then on Saturdays today, isn't there the farmers market? There's the farmers market. I Do you believe. know what they have at the farmers market? I bet you didn't know they had. Oh, hang on. Okay. Do you really want me to guess? Or yeah, just, I do. You, okay. Um, something I would buy at a farmer's market. Something you would buy at a farmer's market. Uh, let's see. Um, trailers. No. no trailers, but there was trailers there, yes. Okay, vendor trailer, not okay, vendor. Okay, I'll give you another guess. Okay. It's a food product. It's a food product. That I would buy at a farmer's market oh. downtown Milford on Kale? Saturday. <laughs> Kale? Is Kabucha. That's your favorite? <laughs> um, uh, T.S. Smith had a booth. Okay. Apples? And apple donuts. Oh, that's right. They do have Oh, they were great. Right. They were great. Mm-hmm. I was like, "Come in the bag." Yep, come in the bag. There's only six of them. You're only required to eat six of them, right? So per person. It was pretty per, per hour. Person, right? <laughs> so anyway, I had a good time. Uh, Denise and I stopped by there last Saturday, and that's where I got my first bottle of the kombucha drink at mm-hmm. that um, uh, good for you. I don't good know news. the name of it. The good news right. health food stores. Mm-hmm. Nice little store. It is. Denise it is. was getting. All I, I encourage stuff in anybody there. to get downtown Milford. This place is happening. It really is. The old M and T Bank, the Wilmington Trust right. Bank. I just heard a rumor of a possibility of a fabulous restaurant going in there. I'm not saying anything on the air because I don't know if I'm even. Supposed I've never to know even it. heard of the name the fabulous restaurant. The fabulous restaurant, right? Okay, so the this, fabulous restaurant yeah, might be coming if to Milford. This restaurant comes down. This is going to be huge for Milford. Really? Yeah. yeah. Okay. I'm I would excited. love for downtown Milford to be known just as the, the the hub of Delaware, the hub of restaurants and just great food and mm-hmm. and even nice well, it, shops. what restaurants it has right now has got great food. No oh doubt. It, yeah, it's already yep. Yeah. Already. Wow. So people can come. They mm-hmm. can make an appointment at your business. They, what's your website again? Wallservicecenter.com. Oh, also, okay. we got this new thing. If okay. you want to tell your, me about it next week? I can. Okay, go ahead. Right. If you want to give us your email address, we've got this system. You oh, can go in and access yeah. all the records on your own through your own computer. You're going to get reminder emails. So from they us. can you access can all your records? Right. For the past two years, about two years, yeah. So we've got some older records, but we still, it's kind of our legacy system. We keep that okay. around. So if you've had, so if you had done something done to your car mm-hmm. and all of a sudden you think, when did I have that done? Or it's the end of the year and you got some bookkeeping <laughs> you need You're to right. find out what did I spend on repairs sure. or maintenance or something yeah. like that. Or, you know, you just want to figure out when in the world did I get them brakes put on mm-hmm. or whatever. It's all right there. It's all right there for you. That's kind of neat. It is. It's it's very neat, and we're, we're glad we signed up for that. I also think, um, don't you have a few testimonials now where people are um, actually leaving little surveys and yep, stuff like we that? we do. We do. Okay. Yeah. So um, you guys are what, third de- generation? Third or? generation. Uh, we just started in business in 1958. Just so, a few uh, years back. Right, yeah. So just well, a few 57 years. 57 years ago. 57 years. Isn't that and, something? That's amazing. Hey, you know what I just found? This is really cool. I found What's an that? old bowling shirt on the top shelf in our uh, parts room. Really? Yep, covered with dust. And I pulled it out. It's an old bowling shirt. Dick's Atlantic Service, which is my grandfather. Okay. That was actually the original name of the business. And... Uh, it was the they had a bowling team and on the side it's got a patch 1959-1960 league champions. Really? Yep. Now there was a Milford Bowling Alley back then, probably. Yeah. So do you think that building that's there has been there that long? The bowling alley building? Yeah. I guess I don't know. Okay, I was just curious where. Yeah. 
That's another wonder, a thought I'm wondering. Right, yeah. I wasn't around then, so I don't know. You weren't? Okay. You were just a thought. All right. Well, anyway, Weller's is going to be open today at 9 o'clock. They're probably open now. I want to give out the phone number for Weller's. It's 337-8228-337-8228. Brooks is on vacation. Brandon will be working in sales today. Earl will be working in sales. And Jason will be in sales. So if you need any of what Weller sells, we will take good care of you. But the one big thing we are selling, well, I mean, everybody that's buying this kayak's never been kayaking in their life, in other words, but they're like for 150 bucks and that includes the paddle folks the paddle is a 40 dollar value we're selling brand new kayaks for 150 dollars it's true it's not a misprint we do have a few of them left um, we're averaging about four a day, so 24 a week. Um, we're very pleased with that. But we also have other shapes and sizes in stock. If we don't have what you need, it's just a few days and we can get it for you. But we're competitively priced. We have a nice selection. And we're just getting into the kayak business. But we bought this truckload of Sun Dolphin kayaks, eight footers, brand spanking new. They're available in yellow or blue. They come with a paddle, $150. Nobody's got a better deal than that. The same exact kayak online is $220 to $260. So it's a once-in-a-lifetime deal available at Wellers. You can buy one or you can buy two. Colin bought two yesterday. Or you can buy six or eight of the things. But the nice thing about it is once you buy a kayak, you don't ever have to tune it up. You don't have to do much of anything to it. You just take it. When you use it, it doesn't cost you anything to use it. And when you're not using it, it doesn't cost you anything don't to have, have it. Oil in them or nope. anything. You don't have to get the carburetor rebuilt once a year or any of that stuff. Well, so. and aren't they what you would call your loss leader? Yeah, they are. I mean, right. We're just doing this to really let people know we're into the kayak business, mm -hmm. and we've got this deal that nobody can beat, and that's kind of typical Because me. most people like to make money on things they yes, sell. Yes, they do. Most people like to make money. I try to make money selling trailer sheds and carports, right. but all the other stuff I sell, I just do it to draw people into the store, to create a buzz, to make people feel good about us. Well, and and it, allows, it allows a customer to get... Uh, custom with you yes. and your your staff and, and just doing business with you and, right. and, and they'll find out that it's a good experience. And as odd as it sounds, Colin, we have sold thousands upon thousands of pairs of socks. Mm -hmm. And people say, who in their right mind would sell 18 pairs of socks for $10? And answer, I mean, there's only one answer to that question. Right. A person <laughs> that's out of their mind. Right. Nobody. <laughs> right. Nobody. Nobody would sell 18 pairs of socks for $10. That's in their right mind. That's in their right mind. So I'm in my left mind, and I'm just doing it because I would like to get you to stop into my store. I'd like you to meet mm -hmm. Brooks or Brandon or Jason or Earl and just see that we're just down-home local people. We're located right Right there on Route 13 in Bridgeville, 337-8228 is the number. Um, if you want to learn about Jim Weller, there's a great video on my website. Just it's a video I did when I spoke at an event one time. It just tells you a little bit about me, who I am. A lot of people that know me know I was adopted, how I feel about that. And so if you've never got to know me or want to get to know me, go to wellers.com and click on where it says get to know or meet Jim Weller or whatever and sit back, have some popcorn, and enjoy yourself for that person that just can't get enough of Jim. Twenty four seven access it. Twenty four seven. That's right. So would like any feedback about the show? If you've enjoyed the show, if you have any comments, I'm Jim at Wellers dot com. Uh, you can text me at five four two nine one five seven. You can friend me at Facebook. I'm always looking for new friends there. I'm the Jim Weller from Delaware. You can like my Facebook pages. I've got Weller Sheds and Carports, Weller's Utility Trailers, and Weller Does Delmarva. I would greatly appreciate it if you would like my pages. Would love to be your friend if you'd like to be friends on Facebook. And we just do our best. We're just local people. I'm 57. I've been in business since I was 16. And I just try hard to do a good job and do my best to keep my business running, take care of people, and... Um, be a blessing to the community that I live in and the people I serve. So thank you to all my customers for all the support over the years. I sell tires and wheels and trailers and sheds and carports and swing sets. 
and gazebos and, so- and kayaks, kayaks and socks and, socks and, and, and whistles electric and- tape and whistles and dog chews and dog bones and outhouses. You are. Uh, let, let me clear. Are you out of the Chinese cookie business? That I'm out of. Do you remember them? <laughs> I remember those. Gosh, I bought a. I don't know if it's a truckload or pallets of these cookies, and they were individually wrapped. Do you remember them things? I remember you marketing them as best Chinese cookies you've ever had. <laughs> that are years old. All right. God bless you all. Come see me at Eagles Fest. If you're going to be here today, look me up, okay? And other than that, everybody have a good weekend, and I will see you next week for Weller Does Delmarva. Bye-bye. Thank you, Fran. Bye-bye.